Oh, what deck do you want me to use first? Uh, whatever. Aren't you gonna do an intro or something? No. What am I, professional? Yes. No. Well, you should. Might have not. Could uh, be a play. I use this one. What is that? I don't know. Where is it coming from? I don't know. Ugh. Give me your Twitch. Stupid advertising. Anyways. Why don't you get ad blocker? I don't have ad blocker and we can't block ads like YouTube and stuff. Move up from up behind that girl so we can fully see your name. Alright. Should we start our first game one? Yeah. Alright, game one of the stream. Commencing. It's gonna be first off Bermuda Triangle versus Machin. Yep. Because Machin has got oh so good. Bermuda is pretty good too, though. Mm, yeah. Oh man. You draw two? Uh, I already redrew one. Uh, oh man. Not good, man. Not, Not good. good, dog. <laughs> Alright. Uh, head for Tails. Uh, Tails, please. Tails, soon. You're going first. Alright. Ride Extraordinary Freshman in Shizuki. Shizuku. Shizuku, Shizuki, who gives a damn? Moves back, and then my turn. And draw. Uh, ride. Machining Black Soldier. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, no guard. Check. Damage, heal, power. Sure. Turn. Stand and draw. Ride glitter of the glitters of yearning in specia. <laughs> Call leaping out boot warning Armin. All right. Battle. Armin boosts spice attacks. One. Got it. Heal. Power and I heal. Alright. Damage. Oh uh, man. It goes that great I need. Oh, you too, man. Uh, ride machining armor beetle. I'm not using a skill. Call machining tarantula. Hornet. Hornet skill. I have a machining in soul. He gets power plus 3000 until on a turn. Isn't he watching? Whatever. Plus three again. Battle. Ten to Spica. No guard. Spica, whatever. Fourteen. I pronounce it Spice up because he's she's spicy, like a tamale. Uh, two. That's one. One, whatever. What am I, a math expert? Sure, why not. Uh, 19. No guard. Turn. Stand and draw. Mm. Energy assisting. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna send this back to my hand. Five, right? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> uh, man, nothing to pair. Oh, uh, that sucks. Looks like I'm not riding. Fifteen. 
Beetle. To armor Beetle. Beetle. One, one pass. Crit, all effects. First, second, draw. Giving power to Vanguard, and I draw. End. Draw. No G assist. <laughs> Call Machining Red Soldier. 19. No guard. 14. Oh. No guard again. No trigger. Damage, no trigger. 16. Guard. Alright, turn. Stand. Draw. Just knew I drew to a grade 1 G assist. At least show that grade 1. It's a perfect guard. Alright. Nothing. Wow. Why is Bermuda hating me today? How many grade threes do you run? I run eight. Mm. Same with my deck. It's doing the same thing. Oh man, fuck. Oh, Amelia. Right, let's just call some shit to do some attacking. Alright, so this column's in harmony. Yeah, they're both in harmony. The units are anyway. Yeah, both my columns are in harmony. Oh, wait, that's right, Akari. Yeah, Akari's in harmony. But I can't activate Akari because she's G break. Attack Red Soldier. I'm gonna guard the Bombix. Mm. Attack Red Soldier again. Alright. Mm. Attack Vanguard. Go for it. No trigger. No trigger. End. Draw. Did you get one? Yep. Yay. Just in time for the limit break, too. I'm gonna it's use its skill. Uh. Superior called Black Soldier. I'm gonna use uh, Little B's ability, put him into soul. Standing key gets plus three until end of turn. I'm gonna call Machin in Caucasus. 17 to Vanguard. Gonna perfect guard this. First, second. Limit break. Your Vanguard's paralyzed. Okay. 20. Mm. And guard. Alright. 16 vanguard. No guard. Tarantula counterblast to paralyze Armin. Okay. Stand. I know, I know. I'm resting him. Draw. G assist, I drew into How? Spice Up. Because you need to remove two cards from your hand. Fuck me. So I'm guessing that means it's my I turn. I quit. <laughs> I scoop. Scoop. <laughs> Alright. Fuck, that was dumb. Let's try one of my other decks to see if they, like, want to work for me today. Alright. Let's try one of the new decks I built in this. Right. Do you want me to use a different deck? Um, yeah. Alright. Fuck, watching. Here, let's try this out for size. Wait, hold up, there's some comments. I'm trying to move the. Oh, oh, people are commenting? Yeah, we That's have rare. people watching. Oh, uh, oh. I didn't think anyone would watch. That's weird. Give me a minute. I'm gonna meet my computer here for a couple seconds so I can get onto the Twitch stream and look. So, yeah, just don't say anything for a little bit. Um, 
Now I'm going to send back the three cards. Okay, I'm ready. I'm back. Alright. Alrighty. What's up, internet people? How are you doing today? How are you fools of the internet doing on this fine, lovely day? Anyways, you'll take the. Do you want to take the first turn? Um. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, you lost. It's your choice. Redraw one. All right. Uh, yes, you can go first. All right. Draw. I'm gonna ride. Machin versus CEO Amaterasu. Um. Actually, not. I wanna. I'm gonna move. We'll be right here. I uh, thought you said you were gonna use it for deck. I asked you, and then I just sort of. I, I don't know. I said yeah. Oh. I'm doing pretty good. C three P O P E. C three Pope. No, I'm doing, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty fine. Uh, Veshulik. I I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your uh, names. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the Mega Colony stuff uh, myself from uh, Soul Strike against the Supreme. And the Bermuda. I'm. Gonna play Bermuda Triangle, but I mainly, but I used to mainly play Great Nature myself. Anyways, ride, e, perfect guard. Oh, it clicks. Oh, no, so back. Shit. Where's it going? Ah. Ad ads. <laughs> I can't hear right now, so just wait. Fine. Ah. Uh, this is like the worst thing ever because my ads will just pop up at random fucking times. That's why I told you to get an ad block. Alright, I can hear easier. you now. I can hear you now, I unmuted my computer. Alright. Anyways. Battle. Sure. Eclair boosts. Perfect guard attacks. Uh. I'm gonna guard that, no pass. Guarding a perfect guard, how ironic. Oh, Check the trigger. Tom. Oh yes, this Tom. Gonna feel the Tom. I'm gonna ride Armor Beetle. Not use. Or skill. are you? Uh, fifteen. No guard. Check to heal. Damage. I'm gonna use Caucasus ability to uh, paralyze Eclair. Doesn't matter. You're probably gonna use their skill anyway. No, oh, forgot to click end. That's right. Click to add to the thing. Give me one minute. I'm doing this stream with you and talking to people at the same time. Yeah, I, that's a given. I don't think I've ever had um, ads play when I'm talking to people on Skype. I have. It's annoying as hell. It doesn't happen to me for some reason. I don't think ad blocker affects that, does it? Either way, I'm fine without getting ads. Then I just been I just advertised more of the stream. All right. All right, my turn. Yeah. Stand and draw. Eclair is um paralyzed. Uh, it doesn't affect. Oh, it is. Then I I don't know why I don't uh, I don't know why I don't get the ads then. I guess Ride to snow. Gonna use Eclair's skill. Alright. Gonna add Goddess of the Treasure Mirror only he made to my hand. Oh, what did he make? And call Tom. Alright. Susano attack. Uh, no guard. Try trigger check, heal trigger, power to silent Tom and I heal. Alright, damage. Oh no, my guard. Perfect. Tom attacks your face. Uh, I can't guard that. Can't guard the from Tom. <laughs> I end. Alright, and draw. Gonna ride machining warsicle. Counterblast. Oh, wait, no, it's machining specific. 
Um, let's go for Black Soldier. 17? Uh, let's see. Lost set. Key and... You know what, fuck it. Another Nike will guard. Alright. Uh, first. Second. Alright, so it's not passing today. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was figuring, why were you over guarding when like, oh, wait a minute, the Legion's a thing. Ride? I almost forgot Legion never existed. And then I remind myself with the Abyss. Um, seek mate. Every card I have in my drop zone back into my deck. Legion with CEO Amaterasu. Alright. Club Battle DD Susano. Alright. Battle. Sure. Susano attacks Warcycle. Uh, I'm gonna guard with Raider Mantis. Orohime attacks her 21 on your Vanguard. Go for it. Twin I check first. No trigger. Second, no trigger. Alright, damage. Crit. Giving all effects to Warcycle. Damn it. That, not Top that it. Tax for Force. <laughs> no, doesn't really matter because Tom couldn't hit in the first place. I don't give a fuck. I was hoping for a crit. I'm gonna stride. There you are. ETS? Elijah, is that you? You motherfucker. <laughs> Carapace Strange DD, Machining Destroyer. I'm gonna call Red Soldier and Tarantula. I'm gonna use Warcycle's ability. Or not Warcycle. Destroyer's ability. I'm gonna paralyze your Vanguard and uh, Silent Tom. Ooh, we have seven Watchers. Seven. No blasphemy. Alright, battle. I'm gonna go 32. Vanguard. Well, that's gonna hit me for a lot. <laughs> yeah. And if you let it, if you let it hit, Susan, I'm not gonna guarding, so hit me. All right, first, second, third. Oh man, where are my triggers? Not today. All right, uh, Caucasus, I'm gonna paralyze Susano. Damn it. <laughs> Sixteen. No guard. Seventeen. Mm. Yeah, it is Elijah. Uh, your turn. Fuck. Nobody stands. <laughs> Might as well skip to main base. Cause I ain't draw shit. And you never will. Well, actually, I will ride something. Ride. CEO Amaterasu. Oh boy, now you get the soul charge and look at the top card of your deck. Mm, to the bottom. Alright. Battle. Alright. Gains 4,000 power. Yeah, so 14 to your Vanguard. Alright, um. Take. Twin drive. First check, crit. Oh no, don't double crit. All effects, Vanguard. Second check. Oh, man. Inch. Uh, crit. You were worried there for a second, weren't you? Yeah, because I know you run 12 crit, because I'm the one who helped you build the deck. Well, of course. Who else would have helped me? Obama? <laughs> Gonna end your turn? Maybe. Sure. Uh, draw. Stride. Into another Machin Destroyer. Again, paralyze everything. Yep, I'm, I'm gonna paralyze Tom and Amaterasu. Battle. 32. Uh, 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 fuck me, fuck. Yes, fuck me, Ellen. No, hit me. First, second, third, 
Man, really? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I hate it, Tom. <laughs> All right, uh, Caucasus paralyzes Susano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 10k Vanguard. Yeah, that that's what um, Peeker was made for. 16. Mm. And Madu. Actually, the next deck I'm going to use actually kind of utilizes Madu. Uh, I'll guard with the Ginger. All right. Let's go 17. No guard. Crit, all effects. All right, turn. Stand, even though they don't stand. Yeah, nobody stands. Not in my domain. Uh -huh. mm. Don't forget to do the soul damage. I know. Uh, ride? Yeah, it would have made sense. Mm. Call over. Alright. Mm. Uh, Kuryo Ikazuchi. Call over. Are you really that desperate to Legion? Yes, I need to finish you. <laughs> I need you so I can an ultimate break you. Ultimate break? You're, uh, you're not running Goddess of the Sun, are you? Because you shouldn't be. I mean, oh, wait, no. Goddess of the Sun doesn't even have an ultimate break. No, regular Amaterasu has an ultimate break. That's, that's Mega Blast. Mega Blast ultimate break, who gives a shit? Me, because I've played the game since set 3 came out in English, and you, I think, set 9 or 12? Overcall. I'll, you know, I played back then when we actually had Mega right, Blast. Alright, Alec is Legion. <laughs> I'm not desperate for Legion, because I needed to win. You're not winning. I don't care, I'm winning. I have a 9 card hand. I'm winning in my book! <laughs> I'm a winner in my book, Alec. Yeah, I'm not winning this. <laughs> Just had that realization. Oh god, I messed <laughs> Fuck up. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Oh, so you used to you used to play on Card Fight Capital. Um, I used to play on that back when um, back when um, Aqua Force was still a new thing. But then it got shut down right before uh the new Liberator and Eradicator trial decks. Uh, I'm gonna perfect guard this. God damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ganda Urohime. Go Urohime! <laughs> Finish him! No, I'm gonna guard with Locust. Damn it, I scoop. <laughs> Just fight me. Just hit me and win because I don't have enough to guard. Alright, stride. You don't even need to stride, you could just normally punch me no, with more Because I'm going to go with Stun Beetle. If you survive, you won't be able to ride. Ah! I lose. I'm. No. Yes. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, your Stun Beetle. <laughs> stun Beetle, too great. Go with this deck. Fuck you. I'm going to try out that deck again. Alright. The same deck. What? Uh, I'll be right back. Don't. Right. I'll die. try to entertain the chat. Just, just masturbate a little bit. It'll entertain them. Coming. Yes. Oh man, I should have told him to mute his Skype before leaving. Yes, the infinite screen. Too trippy. Woo.
Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm using um, XSplit to broadcast this. So, chat, tell me what decks you guys uh, main for either a Vanguard or a Buddy Fight, because we might be doing some uh, Buddy Fight later. And also for some uh, shameless plugging. I don't care. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the uh, yeah. the stream, you can see uh, my YouTube channel, Light Gamer Alunder and oh, um, the right. and the team channel, Card Bros Forever. Um, on my channel, I do uh, let's plays and stuff. So yeah. far, I'm doing uh, the Buddy Fight 3DS game. If you're interested in seeing what that game's all about, you know, go check it out. Uh, Team Card Bros Forever, we do like pack openings, fights, and uh, deck profiles. So, yeah. Uh, Gear Chronicles. Uh, funny thing is, uh, my friend, I owed him some uh, stuff for some stuff. I forget what, but uh, I bought him a Japanese Gear Chron or two Japanese Gear Chronicle trial decks, and yeah, that was fun. And then he eventually bought the actual English thing, and then he quit Gear Chronicle because he thought Gear Chronicle was trash. But now I heard they might get a restander with uh, Chrono Dragon Next Stage. Uh, myself, my girlfriend is wanting the um, Asha stride. And me, myself, I just want the new Mega Colony. The, the new Mega Colony is really fantastic with a uh, sweet cocktail. It's a really nice amber clone. Cri uh, crime Executive, no, it's like uh, something Executive Crime Bug. Really great starter for Mega Colony. We're still missing that that uh, great three searcher though. You know, maybe you know, cycle him two for that. It'd be great because we're we're bound to get a limit break, uh, limit break enabler, and it'll be machining too. So Warsicle will be you know a lot stronger, maybe more viable. Um, some new stuff from Soul Strike against the Supreme. Actually, today revealed a new machining. I forget its name, but uh. If it boosts a machining, you can soul charge too, which would have been great for Dark Face. I mean, like, I think you could still use it if it doesn't have to boost a um, machining Vanguard. So, you know, run some Tarantula or Armor... Uh, you can run Armor Beetle, actually, because it, it's not a machining-specific send a soul. Uh, Nova Blau. Oh, uh, yeah. My friend runs uh, a couple of Blaus in his Ashura Kaiser deck, the Scrub. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, he uses a uh, what's it called a the um, Mon Blau Cougar. Yes, I remember that. And um, he actually built a grade three less Blau deck. And uh, Seeger, I used to play Seeger. Sold it to my friend. Kind of regret that because now he plays oh. Raging Spirits and he constantly kicks my ass because I play Death Rulers. <laughs> uh, fun. Oh, you went to uh, Pasadena. Um, oh, wait. You haven't played a... Uh, I don't know if okay, you were there I, for day two. I, I was... Um, I'm trying to make reminisce right. memories. I can't remember. No. Yeah. Well, uh, me, my friend Chris here, and my friend Colin, who plays the Ashura Kaiser deck, we actually went to Pasadena for uh, Vanguard. And day two, I judged for Buddy Fight, actually. I don't know if... Uh, if maybe you saw uh, saw me, my my name is on the top right corner as you can see because you know Chrome. All right, so I'm back now. Yeah, I know. My parents made me try reminiscing in memories that I cannot remember because I don't know. Just sit there, just blank face, just yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. uh huh, yeah. We draw one. But yeah, Elijah, this is the only way that I'm going to be able to fight Chris, you know, before he, you know, well, when he goes off to college. Yeah. For those who don't know, I'm going off to college in a week. Yep. Fun. So we'll only be able to see each other at, um... Probably not during weekends. Well, probably weekends, because, you know, you said that you might be there for the weekend for, like, see your family and then, you know, locals. 
Mm-hmm. Probably visit friends. Yeah. <laughs> we were there for uh, both days because, you know, we played both games. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually slept like a baby for, like, the first time that summer. Like, seriously. The, the hotel we stayed in was nice. Thank my dad for complaining so we didn't get in the shitty one. Yeah. And Anyways. Then we, and then we also watched Robots. Yeah, remember that yes. movie? That was a movie. It was a movie I quite liked. <laughs> Alright, who's going first? You are. You should probably draw your hand. Yeah, I probably should. It'll probably help you. Ouch. That bad? Eh, I don't have a specific grade. And I think you can tell which. My mom thinks like I had a stroke or something, that's why I don't remember. But I know I didn't have a stroke. Probably an aneurysm. We all have brain aneurysms. <laughs> Our families give us aneurysms. Alright, well, who's going first? I am, right? You are. Alright. Yeah. Uh, draw. Red Prediction Knight, uh, Marese? Red Pulse moves back, and your turn. Draw. Ride Oracle Jardian Gemini. Uh, Eclair moves back. Uh, hello, you creepy little cherub, you. 12,000 of Vanguard. Um, not guarding that. Crit all effects. Oh boy, got critted. Talk shit, get no, crit. No, whirlwinds, why? Talk shit, get crit. What did I just say, Owen? Ride. Perdition Dragon, Menace Laser Dragon. Oh no, so menacing. I'm gonna counter boss use Red Pulse's ability. Um, oh man, nothing there. Nothing for me to add. Pain. Nine the van. No guard. I'm gonna say, no trigger. No trigger. Alright, turn. Stand. Draw. Right, Susana. Uh, uh, Alright. Gonna use Eclair skill? Sure. Add a Goddess of the Mirror Treasure or Hime. Alright. Colossenge Magus. Alright. Come on, use Spear Magus. 15. 1 to pass. No trigger. Alright. And Phase Lost Sanjumagus goes to the bottom of my deck. No, Wait, it is right. Five? Lozenge does that. It's trouble. Alright, I'm just gonna take my turn. That's the entire reason I did that. Ride. Perdition Dragon, Pain Laser Dragon. Oh no, same painful. Call Gia. Marese. But two weeks college for me also. 17. I'm trying to read what this guy just said. Funny thing is, I've, on I've only seen one Gear Chronicle deck at uh, Pasadena. I bought a Gear Chronicle deck and kicked its ass with my e Mecha Battler deck. No guard, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it, it was the one that I um, I was fighting the the Musketeer player. Yep. Nike you will guard. Alright. Oh. Well, because it's supposed to be 12. Or 11. Yeah. Still guarding with the 10? Yeah. Alright. First, second, heal. Gonna give power to Gia and I uh, heal. Thank God, because I kind of needed a whirlwind in the drop zone. Draw. Ride CEO Amaterasu. Alright. Although, one thing I won't forget about Pasadena is everybody constantly looking for Lambrosis. To bottom of deck. Alright. Call us and Jamegas. Alright. Mm. Battle. Sure. Uh, plus 4,000 on this, so... Yeah, I'm not going 20. anywhere. Twin drive first, crit, all effects. Oh, um, man, them crits. Second crit, all oh, effects. Wow. Talk shit, get crit. Crit. 
draw. Lozenge goes back to bottom. Oh yeah. Keep forgetting to do that. Every time I played, back when I played Magus as my deck, I always forgot to do that. <laughs> I might try to build Magus against since they're cheap now. Yeah. Just for old time's sake. Um, Attack Vanguard, 14. Soul Blast uh, gets plus 3, so 14. Um, no pass. Alright. First. Second. Seventeen. Um, ginger guards. Alright. Turn. Stand. Uh, and chat, if there's like any decks that you wanna be uh, you wanna see being played, just tell us. If we don't already have that deck, then we'll build it. Ride, Goddess of the Treasure Mirror, Orihime. Should be easy for me since I'm the deck builder of my group. Uh, let's see. Should I stride? To stride or not to stride? That is the question of the day. And fuck it, I can use more cards in my hand. Stride. Alright. Kieran. Battle. 26,000 to Vanguard. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that through. Um, you. Triple drive. First check. Second check. Third check. No triggers. Your turn. Draw. Get a legion. Oh, wait, no, not hand. You fucked up, mate. There we go. Legion. Guy in chat saying we should try his Gear Chronicle build. I mean, well, I'll build Gear, uh, Gear Chronicle because I don't know how his exactly is. You should, you should list your deck list in the chat and I'll play it. I'll bite the bullet and play Gear Chronicle. 17, Vanguard. Guard. Sure. No guard. Alright. First, heal. Give power to standing gear. Second, draw. Power to standing gear, and I draw. Damage, no trigger. No guard. Right, all effects. Alright, turn. Stand. Draw. Uh, seek mate. Alright. Crit. 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 Man, you're sending back them crits. You know, it's really funny that, um... You know, Halo Shield marks used to be $30, and now they're like a dollar. Because of the new G Perfect Guards. Twenty-one, Vanguard. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk the crits. I'm too scared to crit. First, second. Oh man, should have let that through. Tom. No. Fifteen thousand to Vanguard. Nope. And. Sure. Draw. Ride, Perdition, Dragon, Pain, Laser, Dragon. Seek, Mate. Glad I got all the whirlwinds from my damage back into the deck. You 
You know, I almost forgot I ran strides in here. Legion. Uh, Legion skill. Counter blast. I'm gonna retire this column. Um. All right, Marise gets plus six. Battle. Seventeen to Tom. No guard. All right. Then um, I have to risk the crits. Yep. First. Second crit, crit Vanguard, uh, power to Gia. Son of a bitch. Hey, you shouldn't be complaining. You're the one who double critted me earlier. Yeah, but you killed me with it. Yep. And oh, well. uh, for some reason, Wait, Vortex, Vortex Dragnu didn't just want to come to me. Alright, let's play this deck. Sure. Oh, well, can't read the chat like that. Oh, man, razors. Oh, good. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, shit, never mind. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, hello, Louis. Oh, uh, Louise is here? Yeah. Thank Oh, hello, Luis. Or I think that's him. Yeah, it's Volley Polaris. Who else could it be? So, I don't know. Snoopy we'll and see usual, I see. It is Vanguard and League of Legends together that perfectly. <laughs> what the fuck is this hand? I mean, will you? Wait, hold up. Are you, do you even use the Legion in this deck? No. Okay, good. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, it looks like that one wins. <laughs> so I guess or, I guess that means. Oh wait, hold on. I'm going first. Yeah. All right. Draw. Ride. Destiny dealer. Neon Messiah moves to rear guard. Turn. And Come on, I need. Yeah. Come on, the, I need the deck list didn't show up on our end because you would have seen it in the last thing. Already. Yep. Maximum Razor, Phoenix Razor, Flare Wing, Maximum Razor, Gatling Razor, yeah, Razor put it into Rotate. The so that the chat can see what you're talking about, because not everybody can memorize the names. Fucking hassle. It's a hassle, but, you know, you have to. <laughs> At least in real life, I could just, like, flat throw my hand on the table and just, like, cry. Ouch. Hey, you actually used the same uh, grade 3 lineup as me. Yeah, why why would you use the legions when you can use maximum razor? You know you could have just kept them on guard circle then just draw five cards. Yeah, but I prefer to do the vine. Alright. Uh please let me get the one I wanted. Son of a bitch I didn't. But I got one. First razor. Ow. Ew, why do you run that? Cause there's no other good grade one razor to run. Uh, let's remove. Yeah, it's showing up if you put it in smaller chunks. I guess it's just sort of like a text limit, but doesn't show, I guess. Gatling Razor. Maximum, uh, razor. maximum razor. Maximum over Razor. I really gotta shave, shave, man. Can you pass me your Razor? Okay. This, here, like, the, pronun the pronunciation of this is... Um, okay, so what is it? Riser or Razor? Because Katakana says Riza. And you know, I hear people say riser or razor. I just want to know the actual pronunciation of it. Battle. 7,000. Uh, no guard. Check. Ah, uh, come on, check. No trigger. I'm guessing the grade. Oh, draw trigger. I'm guessing the grade one you wanted was, uh, riser custom. Of course. Why would it be riser custom? <laughs> Sunset Edge, Dust Blade. 
Oh, hey, Justin. Oh, Justin's there, too? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> hey. All of our friends are here. Fourteen. And by friends, I mean what friends? I'm a loner. <laughs> no guard. Uh, heal. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I, I needed you, you bastard. Oh, man. This deck just outright hates you. <laughs> Why don't you love me? <laughs> well, granted, every deck in Vanguard hates me. <laughs> That's why buddy fight your thing. Yeah. Gatling Razor. Phoenix Razor oh, Flare Wing. Phoenix Razor. Twelve. Lewis, you're that special exception. Like you're a friend, but you're also a pleb. It's like the kids. It's like you're a kid and you're a squid. Uh no guard. Check. Oh, man, Thank that, that you. Razor. Thank oh, you, oh, Deck. Come back to me. Thank you, Deck. All right, Alter Ego Messiah. Thank you, Deck. You have not failed me, and I will not fail you. Uh, sixteen. Um, no guard. First, second. Uh, damage. Right. Why is first razor a thing? Stand and draw. Why, 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 are, why are cards with the counter blast 1 plus 1 thousand uh, power like a thing? Those bother me to know. Alright, perfect razor. Alright, oh boy, time to put all those razors in soul. All two of these razors. Yeah, at least I think you have enough for his crit now. I do. I have exactly four. Oh, oh boy. Wait a second, he should be plus 12,000 power. Yeah, CFA is kind of weird with uh, Perfect Racer's power. So it's 11 plus 12, that's 21. Plus you don't have another Razor rear guard. He gets minus 2 anyway. Oh yeah, so that makes him 19. Well, I will have a couple seconds. I mean, well, of course. Call Razor Custom? Sure. No, yeah, there's Razor Custom. Maximum Razor. Battle. Sure. Uh, let's see. Razor Custom Boosts. Perfect Razor attacks for 27. Um, I'm going to take. And a crit. First. Second. It's a heal. It's not a crit. Power. Heal. Alright. Uh, first. Second draw? Oh man, just hitting into those draws. Son of a bitch. Ha! <laughs> Can't hit me. Attack the upper force. Oh man, you should have called something in the same column as him. I only had triggers. Oh man, that blows. Yeah, you should have gotten the turbo razor. Uh, I knew I should have got the turbo. <laughs> uh, let's go with Judgment Messiah. Counter blast. Lock Don't judge me. The lock <laughs> razor custom. Don't judge mint me. Uh, call roaring legs blast monk. Wait, oh man, them the legs. Well. Dem legs. <laughs> Battle. Judgment messiah attacks perfect razor. Or do you? Yeah, uh, it should be thirty-one because uh, alter ego adds plus five. Does he, since it's continuous, does he keep his power during my turn as well? Just during your turn, not during mine. Darn it, so I'm back to 11. Yeah. So 26, so I'm 21, 31. Guard. So that's two pass. Yes. First, second, third. Oh man, those bolt lines. Thank god I survived at least. Roaring Legs attacks skill. Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, Generation Break 1. Unlock 13 to Van. Neon Messiah skill. Send a soul. To search my deck for Alter Ego. You should totally clone your Alter Ego right now and take it. 
Razor crew guard. All right. Turn. Oh, so there seems to be like some like tapping noise on your end. You might want to. Oh, that's yeah. me clicking my mouse pad. Oh. Stride. Or should I? Yeah, I need the hand advantage. All right. Medio Kaiser Vic Ten. Sure. Man, get a restand. Flare wing. All right. Firing attacks for 12. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna intercept with gravity well. Maximum razor attacks, legs. No, not them legs. I'm gonna guard with uh, Pulse Monk. Big 10 attacks, 26, Vanguard. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that through. Triple drive, first. Mm hmm. Second. Sure. Third. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten the turbo. Draw. Stride. Judgment Messiah. Hey. Counterblast lock. Keep that back row locked. Yeah, I unlocked it. That just relocked it as soon as you strode. Yeah, a bolt line and a uh, dust blade. Battle, bolt line boost, dust blade attacks, dust blade skill, counter blast to lock flare wing. Mm. 16 to vanguard. No guard. Crit, all effects vanguard. Bolt line's ability, omega lock flare wing. Okay. 26 to vanguard. Or 31 actually. Perfect guard. First, second, crit. Third, heal. You know what I just realized? What? I forgot to add in um, Dark Metal Chameleon into this deck. Sucks to suck. Yep, looks like I'm going to be <laughs> uh, running out of counter blasts. Call Razor Custom. Sure. Max Razor skill, he gains 2,000 power. Alright. I'm currently 21. Power plus 6,000. Alright. Battle. Sure. Razor custom boosts. Maximum razor attacks. Um, Dusk Blade. I'm gonna guard with uh, Pulse Monk. 21. And uh, a crit. Sure, go for it. Twin Drive first. Second. No triggers. There goes that yep. white dwarf. Uh, my turn? Yep, end. All unlock. Right. One unlock. I'm going to soul blast to draw one. Draw. Oh, didn't mean to shuffle my hand. Ah! Uh, stride. You're the only who's going to shuffle your hand. Nebula, dragon, big crunch, dragon. Crunch it ties me, Captain. Fuck. <laughs> it's the Captain. Uh, Counter Blast. I'm gonna. G Persona. No, Justin. I cannot do the thing. <laughs> Omega lock that column. Which column? The one column that you have. Oh, well, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> I call Bolt Line. Fun! <laughs> 16 the Vanguard and Counterblast lock. Fun! <laughs> no guard. Omega lock. Max. I range. get it. They're already Omega lock. Just Omega lock. Oh, wait, flare. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks. Omega lock flare wing. 33. No guard. First, heal. Power to Monk. Second. Third. <laughs> I can't lock anything. Oh, wait, no, that's not Judgment of Side. That's right. <laughs> yes, you can. There's one more you can Omega Lock. Oh, wait. That's right. I forgot Bolt Line was boosting. Yeah, Omega Lock, Razor Custom. 
21. Now your entire field's a mega locked. Jeez, it's like mega colony all over again. <laughs> I thought I was done with this shit when I quit mega colony. <laughs> you never played mega colony. I don't care. Yeah, um, Lewis makes a good point. Perfect Razor gets minus two, but I think you're striding. Yeah, really, Link Joker's the fun police. Except when you're, uh, except when you're mirror matching and your opponent plays, um, Amnesty when you're, uh, when the opposing Glendios player. 26. Uh, no. See, that's the thing. Glendios players, you know, they, uh, Glendios players, you know, it's like, Okay, I'm gonna Omega lock your entire field. What are you 26. gonna do against an mirror match? Just drop it. Just drop an amnesty, and just watch them face palm. Draw power and draw. Draw oh, power. I'm getting those draws. Oh yes, I hit them draws. All right, my turn. Yeah. Mm. Stride. I'm guessing all my shit staying on Mega Locks. Genesis Dragon Amnesty Messiah. That's not gonna help you. Yeah, I will. Counter Blast, I'm gonna lock one of my own rear guards. Oh shit, you can unlock my rear guards! Oh wait, I don't have it anymore. Shit. Actually, hold up then. Oh shit, you can unlock my rear guards and kill me! I won't call anything then. Battle. Ah, oh, oh no, oh no, bro, please don't. <laughs> I want to leave! 16. Guard with Battle Razor. Boost, Amnesty attacks, Amnesty's ability. Wait, hold up. Did I already counter blast for. Yeah, I already counter blast for Ultra Yeah, you already counter blasted for Amnesty's yeah, ability. I'm gonna unlock everyone. Thank you. And that's plus one, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And then plus another five from that. Alright. First, second, third. You, you also get to, um, unflip. Yay! Uh, sixteen to Vanguard. Guard. Alright, turn. Stand, draw. Probably should have waited till. Oh, wait, no, hold on, never mind. Time to get custom roboing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Shit. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. You're going to college and getting your soul. soul. 18. Guard. Eighteen. Take. No, not both my white dwarves. Twenty-one. No. Wait, no, this is more than twenty-one. Doesn't what matter. Do oh boy, there's that G perfect guard. Ooh boy! Can't wait to ride next turn! There ain't gonna be no next turn. Yeah, no shit. Scoop. <laughs> next game! <sighs> Let's see if we can actually win one tonight! <laughs> well, I'm doing all the winning. Yeah, let's see if I can win one. Just attack me, you bitch. Alright, fine. Attack me, you dirty slut. Stride. Judgment Messiah, I'm gonna lock my back row to lock Flare My entire field? Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I was gonna lock the other front row anyway. Game. My entire field, why not? 
Uh, oh, you should help me build my old, old um, 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 um Link Joker deck. Your old it was Venom Dancer? No, no, Freeze Ray. Oh, that's right. Freeze Ray's a thing. Freeze uh, Ray. Maybe, la maybe later. Maybe L eight R. You know what? It's time for the king to represent. Time for me to play my nation. One nation under the furries, bitch. Wait, what am I doing shuffling my deck? I need my starter. You're being a failure, that's what, Elwin. Shut the fuck up, Lewis. Yeah, sure, Lewis. <laughs> we'll build uh, we'll build Vermilion next. Ooh, the shade has been thrown. Ooh. Are you just gonna sit there and take that, Lewis? <laughs> yeah, that furious clicking. Every time anybody shuffles, well, <laughs> Justin, you know that. <laughs> You gotta click furiously. And by click, I'm. Gotta go fast. Master fate. Gotta be fast. Anywho, you, you may have the first turn again, Ellen, if you wish. Hey, um, actually, my friend Colin built a pretty, a pretty radical cold bolt wave, and I didn't get to go commit Sudoku for saying radical. Radical! <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go first. You are, I said. Alright, you know I don't pay attention that, to that. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna G-assist. Well, she ought. Witness my dark face. Okay, I'll witness your black face. No grade ones. Yeah! Thank. I guess that means it's your turn now. Okay, now that's well, something that I don't get. Why would you play Cobalt Wave against Sinbuster? Right? Wash up raccoon. Battle. Raccoon attacks. Uh, no guard. Check, no trigger. Oh yeah, the ultimate. Yeah, that coiling duck bill. Best card in the game Drop right there. Draw. Everyone can agree. Oh Everyone. boy! Right. Can I get the agreement of everyone in the chat here? Dor Dorcas? Can I get the agreement of everyone in the chat here that Coiling Duck Bill is the best card in the game? Twelve. Give me a minute, I'm looking at what your hand is at on the stream. Uh, no guard. Draw. Damage, crit, all effects. Turn. Stand and draw. Hmm. Ride. Sure. Binoculus Tiger. All right. Call coiling duck bill. All right. Blackboard ohm skill on coiling coiling skill on himself. Blackboard parrot. Nine, plus four to coiling. Oh, uh, guard. Oh, that drive check was a draw trigger. All right. There, I'll just recheck it. All right. Power to coiling and I draw. Sixteen. I'm gonna guard again with Rampley. Alright, end phase. Alright. Otherwise known as half time. Retire and draw two. Well I say Dark Face is gonna be a good build, it's just gonna be a more defensive build. Ride, Bloody Hercules. I'm gonna call Phantom. Oh, so period. Phantom Black and Fascinated Music, uh, Mutant, uh, Sweet Cocktail. 
Sweet cock. 17. Oh, yeah, cocks are sweet. Guard. 15. No guard. Oh, boy, there goes the no. cat. My cat. Stand and draw. Ride my avatar. Magic scientist tester fox. The limit break enabler would be real useful right about now. Well, that's a damn shame. Come on, Richard Road. Call Tester Fox. Battle. Sure. Um, Vanguard Tester Fox attacks. His skill behind will score 1,000 to rear guard Tester Fox. Attacks Go Vanguard. Ahead. Twin drive check, first check, draw trigger, power to tester fox and draw. Second check, heal trigger, power to tester fox and heal. Alright. Crit. I need you back, taking cat. Weeaboo alert. Lewis, I'm already here. 25. Guard with Mantis and Bloody Hercules. You're gonna need more than that. That's e equal. Oh, wait, that's right. What am I thinking? Oh boy, another crit. And Phase retires. Oh yeah, that's right, retiring is still a thing. Ride Unrivaled Blade Rogue Cyclomatooth. Hey, Cyclomatooth, how are you today? Bloody Hercules. 17. Broadcast Rabbit will guard. All right, uh, 18 in the vanguard. Perfect guard. First. Second. All right, your turn. Stand and draw. Seek the mate. Oh, let's see. Draw. Draw. Taping cat. Heal trigger. Oh, that's right, Great Nature still does use Legion. Yeah, because Great Na Legion and Great Nature is really fucking good. Was I about to Legion with the stride unit? <laughs> you should totally make that, though. Give it quintuple drive. Give it all of the drive checks. Call Researcher Fox. Oh boy. Get ready for long end phases. Call Coiling Dumbbell. Skill the Researcher Fox. Sure. Battle. Mm -hmm. mm, 27 to Vanguard. Go ahead. Twin Drive. First check. Crit. Crit. It Vanguard. Third power to Reguard. Second check. No trigger. First draw. Power to Vanguard. Draw. Second heal. Power to Vanguard, heal. 18 to Cocktail. Guard with Rampley. Alright, half time. Retire, skill, kind of blast one. Search deck. Well, better get to reading War and Peace. Maybe by the time I'm finished, he'll be done with his end phase. Add Research of Fox to hand. And the Vanguard skill, unflip, Vanguard skill. It'll draw, then choose two to send to bottom of deck. And then Coiling Duck Bill skill to draw. Turn. Alright. Draw. Break ride, unrivaled blade rogue cyclomatooth. Your column is locked. They're yeah, not locked. Could... it's uh, paralyzed. paralyzed. 
17. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, Cutter that hand's going to be no fun for me. 26? Or no, actually more 28. No guard. First. Second. Oh, how nice of you to join again, Cyclomatooth. Your turn. Yeah, I know, right, Justin? Thanks for playing Great Nature, by the way. Draw. You're welcome. Hmm. Hmm. How often are you going to be paralyzing my vanguard in this game, do you say, Owen? How, do, how much do you think? Every turn. Lewis, there, there is a way to fast forward through Great Nature and Faces. It's called not playing against Great Nature. Ride. My avatar, Tester Fox. Seek mate. Alright. Where is she? There she is. Legion. Call. Sure. You want to call another coiling duck bill? No, I'm not. I don't have another one on me right now. Call wash up raccoon though. Battle twenty thousand to Vanguard plus four thousand to Researcher Fox. Guard. 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 No pass. Twin drive first. Second. Hello, Guru. How nice of you to join us today. 20. Vanguard. Sure. End phase. Retire. Add. later. Doesn't take that long. Well, better go rewatch Doctor Who in its entirety. And that's a great thing about great nature. I get to choose what I do. Send to bottom of deck. Add to hand. Shuffle. Turn. Draw. Break ride. Yeah, 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 I get it. Yep, call Phantom Black. Black? 20, 28. Well, actually, no guard. Alright. Crit. Uh, crit the Cyclomatooth power to Hercules. Second. Draw, power to Vanguard. Draw. Second. Heal. Power to Vanguard. Heal. Ugh. 23. Cafeteria Sea Otter will guard. Alright. 17. It's not gonna hit. Oh, wait, that's right. Stand and draw. Lewis, the new Mega Colony support's great for, like, machining, though. Mm. Can't do anything, because, well, yeah, him. Retiring all his units. Stride. Him keep him paralyzed. Who's going to stride to stride for stakes? Okay, you're going to stride as rest. I'm aware. I'm striding just so I can get the G in there. Hmm. Because break ride, that's why Justin. Guru Wolf. Sure. Guru Wolf attacks. I'm gonna guard with Stealth Millipede. And. Draw. Break ride. Intimidating <sighs> Mutant Dark Face. Am I gonna get a turn soon? Nope. Stride. Poisonous Spear, Mutant Deity, Paraspear. Oh, your rear guards are already rest, so he gets plus five and I draw. Uh, 
Um, not worth it. Phantom Black Boost. Sweet Cocktail attacks Vanguard for skill. Counterblast. Uh, I mean, it's already paralyzed, but you can't intercept. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, hold up. I forgot to do this. Yeah, these two are going to be Giga Paralyzed for Dark Face. So, better make sure to retire them. Give me a second, all right? Can I intercept or not? No. Okay, guard. Can I intercept a different attack? No. You can't Suck. intercept, period. You can't intercept, period. 36. Ah. Uh, Perf. First, second, third. Finally, a perfect guard. Thank you, deck. 18. Guard. Sure. Turn. Nobody stands in my give domain. Not like I give much of a shit. Ride. Alright. Hot blooded Professor Guru Tiger. Sure. Seek mate. Heal. Draw. Draw. Crit. Capable assistant Google Wolf. All right. Overcall. Crayon Tiger. Castanet Donkey. Mm -hmm. And Guru Wolf. Yeah, Stun Beetle does have to hit, but that's to make it balanced. Kind of like how it has that generation break. For some reason. For some reason, Strides have to have generation breaks. Wait, no, I don't call that. I call uh, Researcher Fox. Right. Now I'm activating my Legion skill, discarding one card with its name. <sighs> Giving Cassinet Donkey and Researcher Fox the ability to who come back at the end of the turn if they're retired. Alright. And I draw and unflip when they do. Alright. Battle. Hot blooded attacks your vanguard for twenty thousand. I give four thousand to Castanet Donkey. I'm gonna constant guard that. Twin drive first. Draw all effects to researcher fox and I draw. Second, no trigger. Researcher fox attacks for fourteen. I'm gonna guard with Tail Joe. Castanet Donkey boosts crayon tiger attacks ability. Kind of lost one. Plus 4,000 stand. And the end of turn, retire and draw. Alright, I'm going to guard with Sharp Nail Scorpio. 18. Shelter Beetle guards. End phase. Retire. Retire. Draw 3. Alright. Call back. Is that all? Um... Researcher Fox's skill would counterblast, but then I'm just gonna uncounterblast and uncounterblast this one. Add a. How's it being uncounterblasted? Un um, for each one coming back, I get to add another. For each one coming back, I get to unflip. Wait, whose skill was that? Um, that's Legion skill. Oh, wait, that's right, yeah. I'm gonna add Hot Blooded Professor Guru Tiger to my hand. Alright. And I'm gonna end my turn. Alright, since your units are still at rest, I draw two. Stand and draw. Stride. Raging Spear, Mean Deity, Stun Beetle. Counterblast, I'm gonna keep these two Giga Paralyzed. Crime Bug's ability. Or, yeah, it's Stun and it can't intercept. Kel Stealth Millipede. Hmm. Alright, battle. Wait, hold on. No.
32. No guard. First. Second crit. Crit to uh, Vanguard. Power to Sweet Cocktail. Wait, was that the second or third check? That was the second check. Alright, third. Damage. Stun first. Beetle's ability. Oh, wait, that's second. right. Second. Yeah, Stun Beetle's ability. Counterblast 2. Flip. Your Vanguard's paralyzed and it cannot, and you can't uh, ride normally. 22 to Guru Tiger. Guard. And guard. Alright. 18, Vanguard. Mm. Alright. Turn. Stand. Uh, which ones are paralyzed? These three. And Vanguard. Yep. And you can't ride over your Vanguard. I know. Draw. Retire to call. I'm gonna use Dark Face's Soul Blast ability. Yeah, to rest binoculars. Retire to Soul call Blast. Else. I'm gonna call someone else. Give me a second. Oh well, then I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna soul Blast, blast to... a Coiling Duck Bill when you call it. Because I have, or I already have one face up in the G zone, and Stun Beetle is a G unit already face up. That count. That's uh. That's added to two, Justin. Cards and soul. Two. Technically four, but when you call a coiling duck bill, I'm going to paralyze it. Guru wolf. Sure. Battle. Alright. Oh, well then I'm going to soul blast two. Wait, hold up. You didn't call a coiling, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, then I'm going to stun guru wolf. Or rest it, rather. Nine. Guard. And. Hey. At least, um. At least I can't stun anything anymore. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I'm out of counter blasts. That's not gonna stop you. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna rest everyone and I get to draw. Get not to gonna stop five. you from killing me this turn either. Battle. 41. I lose. Draw. Death. I honestly <laughs> thought I was going to lose that at first, but it just sort of turned around. Kept st because you kept stunning my shit. Yeah, <laughs> mega colony anti-fun. But yeah, I'm going to try to judge at uh, Pasadena again for uh, Vanguard and Buddy Fight. I, I like judging, it's pretty fun. Alright, don't use a freaking... Mega no Colony deck? <laughs> yes, stop using Mega Colony, it's anti-fun. Alright. <laughs> use a different deck, and not Link Joker, use a deck that's not stun. Alright, uh, hold on, just let me build a deck then. Because I did, I, did I did build a deck, but apparently you didn't save, because I guess I forgot to save it. But I'm going to use my main deck, so you should already know what you're going to go up against. Uh, I don't want to... Oh, Suki Yummy, never mind, I thought yeah. it'd be Mega Colony. <laughs> no. Uh, I feel like that was up. fun. <laughs> it's stun deck versus stall deck. That was a long. Okay, that wasn't the longest game I've ever had. The longest game was an hour game against that deck versus Blaster Joker. I won. Yeah, against Cody.
Yeah. Because the self damaging. <laughs> uh, Cody deserved to be salty that game because the self damager was the reason he lost. Oh, I see Justin's here at the at the um the yeah. house place and uh yes. Cody challenge. deserved to be salty about that because I was at four damage, self damaged myself up to five. He got a heal trigger for his fourth dam for his fifth damage. And then his sixth damage. I got a double I got a critical trigger. His fourth damage was a heal trigger, and his fifth damage was a crit. <laughs> Wait no, his fifth damage was a heal, his fourth damage. His sixth damage was the crit. My bad. Uh. So I completely bullshit him, and he basically deserved to be completely fucking salty for the rest of his life for that. Finally, you accept. <sighs> Houston, Pasadena, same thing. Pasadena's like, I think, half an hour from his. I don't know. Me, myself, I live in DFW, so bad. They should have had it here like they usually do. For, um, regionals instead of Team League. Yeah, Lewis, after this, because I already had to build a new deck, so... I'm gonna send four back. Well, um, Vishalik... He uh, posted his Gear Chronicle deck list a while back, so you could build that, Chris. Well, it faces against uh, Lewis's Ner uh, Vermilion deck. Uh, for some reason, I had trouble remembering its name. Hey, yeah, he lives in uh, Seagoville. He does? Yeah. Oh, cool. That means we can hang out later. If you live in Stephenville. Seagoville. Seagoville? Oh, I thought you said Stephenville. No. Hi, dear. How are you today? Yeah. Hey there, Ontari. That's my boyfriend. Oh. That's my man. That's my horse! <laughs> no, that's my horse! Yes, it's all references and unentertaining commentary here, ladies and gentlemen. But it's... It's the shit. thing! It's still shit. You can have the first turn. Alright. Draw, and use Gaha Kishibiyoshi skill. Or are you? Yeah. No Tsukiyomi, though. <laughs> or is there? Um... Uh, no ride. Or not do worth. you? It's not worth. Stand and draw. Ride oranges. Oh wait, that's right. This is Minerva. Hell yeah, bitch! It's not even Legion Minerva either. It's like original Minerva. Hey, no. Lewis, remember when I used to play Minerva back when it wasn't even released yet? Twelve thousand. Uh, no guard. Drive check. Heal trigger. Power. Heal. Why? Hmm. Um, oh, by the way, this Oh, you want me to use the ultimate scrub deck, Lewis? I thought you were talking about Nurikami, not Shadow Paladin. Um, I would ask your friend, like, Vishgula, if it's Siegelville or Stevenville he lives in. He clearly typed in Siegelville. Darn it, I thought it was, like, a mistype or something. I think he would have corrected it by now. Darn it. So... If I only... Or so the dream I had went. We're not in the buddy fight yet. Click end phase. Oh, fuck you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Draw. Search. Uh, now the chain is complete. Where is it? Battle. Seven. Or do you? you shit, I opened up. Oh shit, I opened up everything. Give me a second, I opened up YGO on accident. No, that's not told maybe like another stream. Oh, guard. Or later, if people in the chat want to see it. Uh, crit. It's, uh, Kurakurahime. 
that showed up in the anime recently, I think. Oh wait, no, no, that was in the English dub where you um where Shion faced the uh, the other guy. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I don't remember. I don't remember Stand right people from a uh, G because G's kind of boring. Ride frogs. And up until recently in the Japanese. Call uh, Somohime. Japanese subs. Somohime attacks. Oh boy, it's that thing. Yeah, no, I'm not letting that hit. Good, you've learned well. Uh, no guard. Check, no trigger. Damage, heal. Oh shit, I ran a grade wait! Grade 1, fuck! Yeah, that's right, you forgot to ride into grade 2. Fuck! I thought it was a grade 2! Go <laughs> right into something, then. Shit. That was the only other grade 2 I had. Okay, then just put your rear guard into ride. I already had a waste of 10k. Yeah, that's. I'll just put that into my hand. And keep that there. Just say that that was the attack. No, because I'm not letting that hit. Yeah, just say that that was the attack, the original attack. Alright, fine. You said not letting it hit. Draw. Make sure to click that end phase. <laughs> my biggest fuck up of the night. <laughs> and there's just more yet to come. I'm gonna call Half Moon Tsukuyomi. Where are you? <laughs> Nine. I said GG. They th uh, they thought I meant get er, good game. I really meant get good. Nine. Um. No guard. Crit. Son it's just fun and crits here. It's just depression and crits. <laughs> Ride Regalia of Wisdom Angelica. <laughs> Angelica. It was like you were trying to. <laughs> it's like I tried to say Angeli at first. Yeah, because I'm a because fucking Dolce. I'm a fucking Dolce scrub. Yu Gi Oh Cretan. Pleb. 16. Oh, wait, whoa. Uh, guard. Skill Soul Charge. Sure. Skill Soul Charge. Alright. I'm gonna let that hit. Twin drive first. Ooh. Second. Dandy. He's a dandy guy. Except not in space. He's a dandy guy who steals shit. He's a dandy guy who steals shit. And then winks at a girl whose name I can't remember for some fucking reason that I'm disgraced of. If it's in the if it's the movie thing, then that was uh, Bandit Danny, I think. Oh, wait, not this Bandit is Bandit Danny. Dandy. No, um, Justin, help me out here. What was the name of that unit? It's Bandit Danny. <laughs> No, I think it wasn't in another unit. No, it was bad at Daddy. <laughs> you dumb right. shit. Didi, the evening moon, Tsukuyomi. Gonna flip and put Crescent Moon into the soul. Oh, Chris is right. Okay, fine. Oh, boy. I'm gonna add this one and this one. Call Mother Girl Milk. Or do you? Alright, stop your shit. Uh, no. This should be 36 because milk's ability. Aw, thank you. And this crit would go, <laughs> would go great with some milk! Give me a minute. I was thanking my love. Let's see, 32? No, 36. 36? Well, I still don't give a shit. Oh, Kushinata. Did they even add the Genesis Perfect Guard yet? I don't fucking know. The, the oh. G Perfect Guard. I meant. I don't fucking know. 14. Granada. Oh, it's Lori. Turn. Stand und draw. Wait, okay, so why, why is Misaki running uh, Bandit Danny when she should be running Fancy Monkey? It's the best draw trigger. Oh. 
All right. Break ride. Actually, cross break ride. Skill Soul Blast 3. And draw two cards. Yeah, it's two cards. Then Power Blast 10,000. Alright. Power Blast 1, Soul Charge 2. Call Caramel. Alright. That's Chamomile. I don't give a shit. Ugh. It's Caramel now. Retire. Call Somohime. Fun fact for you, for those of you in the chat, this is my main deck that I play IRL. And this was Battle? the deck I did use at uh, Pasadena, except, you know, um, Full Moon Shred wasn't out yet. 16. Guard with Assault Dive Eagle. 16. Guard with Battle Sister Ginger. Boost, Soul Charge, 28. Uh, no guard. Twin drive first, crit, all effects to Minerva. Second, no trigger. First, crit, all effects to Tsukiyomi. Second, Minerva's ability. No, Susano, come back. Power Blast 1. I'm Soul sorry. Blast 3. Power Blast another one to recall. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let, let it die there. Restand in Power Plus 5000. Alright. Oh, yeah, I just got to choose three Genesis and discard them. Oh, you. Yeah, that's right. You have to discard. You and, uh, you. 31. Kanzen. I don't know. First. I don't know what you're talking about. They're both scrub decks. Darn it! I could have crit you into infinity. The entirety of Shadow Paladin is just one big scrub. Yes. It's like a dish. Miracles and top decks are real. I ride Supreme Sky D uh, Battle DD Susano. Stride. Descended Sword DD Takami Kazuchi. Counterblast. For Susano's ability. I'm gonna add this to my hand. This one goes to the bottom. Takumi Kazuchi's ability. Um you and you to the hand. Then you're both going to the bottom. Call Silent Tom. Oh, Press shit. Moon Battle, 36 to Vanguard. Kanzen. First, second, heal, power to Tom. Uh, no heal. Third. Takami Kazuchi's top four, Tsukiyomi's top five. Attack Kamameel with uh, Tsukiyomi. Grape Soul Guard. Alright. Oh, and also, we have seen the G perfect guard for Genesis. It's, uh, j I don't think it's in the game. I don't know. 20, no grade 0. Against your, uh, 13. Kanzen. Alright. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh, all right. Yeah. So the G Genesis guard in the game. All right. Sixteen thousand. The Tom. No. Sixteen thousand to Vanguard then. No. Boost Soul Charge Attack Twenty One. Kanzen. Twenty 
Twin Drive first. Second, Crit, all effects. Skill, Counter Blast 1. Soul Blast 3. Yeah, except one of the clans is better. <coughs> OTT. Discard three. Papa's five thousand. Stand twenty one. I'm gonna Kanzen guard that again. Twin drive first. Second. My turn? Yeah. Just take your turn. I'm typing right now. Alright. Stride. Takemikazuchi. Susano's ability. Um, Psychic Bird to hand. You better call that Psychic Bird and use its skill. Nope, I'm not going to use it now. Got what I need. And to bottom, to bottom. After Call this game, we're gonna have to stream though. Because I kind of have to go. Oh. Well, then maybe someone in the chat uh, wants to fight me then. 36. Yeah, I'm just going to get wrecked here. I don't have enough to guard that. Crit, all uh, effects. Special League, unfortunately, Chrono Dragon next stage is the Generation Rare, because we pretty much already have everything revealed at this point. Getting Omega credit here. Yeah, credit to Infinity. Watch out, because... Oop, I got a heal trigger, I win! Well, I still kind of have my toms. Ooh, yeah. Totally, I win, right, guys? Have to crash right, no, the game. If, if I have two toms, then yeah. If I have two tom columns, then I pretty much win. Anywho, I'll see you losers later. If anyone wants to fight, eat this motherfucker. Speak up now or forever hold your peace. All right, who wants to fight me? I'm accepting challenges. Agent. I mean, yeah, they're not confirmed, but uh, Genesis, in terms of placing, is above Mega Colony. And the ter in, in terms of uh, triple rares, it went um, Fenrir to Darkface, so... Alright, Justin, I'll fight you. Alright, I want to test something. Uh, can the chat still hear me? Because I want to make sure it's not like only recording, or it's not only picking up Skype. Alright, cool. Just making sure. Cause it's kind of weird talking by myself. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to be entertaining. I'm probably gonna be boring as all shit though. Yeah, Lewis, I'm gonna use your deck later. I, I keep forgetting, I'm sorry. Looks like Justin's going first. Yeah, those of you don't know, um, Tev is my friend Justin. Yeah, Justin, if you have Skype, you can join in. Like, I don't think I have a. I don't think I. Eh, I have you as a contact. Yes, chat. I can be English. Uh, yeah.
And I'm gonna go ahead and attack his vanguard with a uh, star shield. Oh yeah, that's right, Justin doesn't have a, a mic. And he doesn't have a smartphone either, so he can't like download uh, Skype on, on his phone. Right here, got a heal trigger. Alright. Si, senor. No habla inglés. Uh, hell's nail. Oh, uh, who's this? Oh. Yes, I know, Chris. I'm looking at chat. It's because you're delayed. Oh, I can't guard with that. Never mind. He's not in battle either. Just gonna minimize that. Uh, one pass. Cool. We don't get hit. Uh, draw. Ride into armor beetle. You can't post ponies. The mods are here. Uh, I'm not gonna use this skill. I'm gonna call two red soldiers because 12k hitters attack health deal. Twelve. Fourteen. Uh, no hit. Done. Turn. Hey, you don't know. Maybe I make Justin and Lewis mods. Maybe Elijah. If Elijah's even still here. Mm, there's that Ammon. I don't know, going for my uh, red soldiers. I, don't know, I ain't gonna have that. I'm gonna guard with uh, Tarantula. Uh, no guard. Oh, wait, no. Hold up, I forgot. I'm not, I'm not directly talking to Justin. And if he hears from, uh, from stream, that's gonna be bad because, you know, delay in chat and stream. Draw. Right into Machining Warsicle. So pretty much right here, we're going to be um, striding straight into, uh, what's his face, uh, Machining Destroyer. Oh wait, no, hold up, can he? No. I have to call Armor Beetle. Fortunately, I'm going to have to use uh, Beetle Skull right here. To stun launch in Stride. Yes, I can actually stride because it's when it's placed on rear guard. Same with Warsicle when it's placed on Vanguard. Um, launching in Destroyer. Now I'm going to call Armor Beetle. No skill on Armor Beetle. And a counter boss to paralyze these two. Alright, heading into battle. Eh. Vanguard's gonna attack for uh, 31. Crit! Oh boy. Uh, gonna give the crit to Vanguard, power to Armor Beetle. Second check. Oh, there's that Stag Beetle. Uh, third check, crit. Going to uh, give the crit to Vanguard. Right here, he hits the heal trigger, but he cannot heal. Hits another heal trigger. This time, he can heal. He has one more damage to take. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Man. That's some, like, luck right there. Or bad luck. That's gonna hurt him late in the game when he needs to, uh... When he needs to take hits. Was that all the heals? Or was it only three? Yeah, Justin, you seriously need to uh, go into uh, Astroth. Yeah, that's right, you can't stand. Oh, 
All right. So it says, well, he's screwed, but yeah. Oh wow, he has to s skip riding because he doesn't have a grade three, I think. All right, stride. Straight into Machini Destroyer. Oh wait, I don't have any counter boss. Uh, oh, oh well. I'm gonna call Locust. I'm not gonna use its skill. Be good if I had like a unit that I didn't need to use. Uh, 12 to face. There's that Psychic Waitress. Uh, 31. Hopefully we get crits right here. Uh, critical. Power to arm, reveal, and crit to vanguard. Second check brings us a draw trigger. Power to arm, reveal, draw. The third check brings us uh, the only other draw trigger in the deck. I'm gonna go 31 to face. Alright, and that's the turn. Yes, his column will be able to stand, unfortunately, but wow. And finally, got that Astroth. Yeah, I got that Astroth. Now he'll be able to Legion, but he should have. Um, it would have been better for him if he Legion to last turn, but uh, his deck didn't want to give him the uh, Astroth. Searching to make for the original ammo on legioning. The legion's pretty good. Um, uh, oh, I was about to say, I think I don't have a perfect guard, but uh, yeah. Yes, I know I'm pretty much saying that to um, pretty much revealing my hand to the opponent, but eh. Yeah, Justin, you need to watch out to uh, not soul charge. I was using a uh, bar made grace. I don't get why they translated it as Hermaid Grace, because if you read the, or, uh, I know you guys probably don't read Katakana, except for like Justin and Elijah, but uh, it reads Ba Meido, not Ha Meido. What's happening? Gruesome. It's an assault. Oh, stuff is happening. Oh. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of a uh, little bee. Shameless promotion, but, uh, yeah, if you want to see more streams and uh, stuff like card fighting, buddy fighting, uh, maybe a bit of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, hit that uh, follow button right there. I really appreciate it. And um, more, more shame, <laughs> shameless plugging. Uh, we do have YouTube channels down below. I do Let's Plays. Currently we're doing Future Card Buddy Fight, the uh, 3DS game, and uh, the other one's the team channel. He's using Astaroth skill. He's gonna still charge three, I think. Or he gets a crit, I don't know. Which everyone is using, probably the soul charge. I really need to pay attention rather than talking. <laughs> but yeah, I don't wanna be boring for the chat. Alright, he's getting plus one crit. Hey, I trust him. I don't need to check his soul. Yeah, it's that exactly 10. Oh, checking how many uh, heals he have in there. I don't think I see him. Uh, saw any, though. Heals in perfect guards. Right, there's a crit. Yeah, that would have hit me for 3 crit. I uh, kind of need the uh, crit, though. Although you can't hit with a uh, health mail. He's gonna soul charge three.
or uh, I'm not gonna guard that because I kind of need the counter boss for the uh, stride and stuff. But after we hit two triggers, but uh, that heal trigger can't go off fully anyway. Gonna stride into watch an destroyer. I'm gonna call that uh, Caucasus counter boss to uh, stun these two. All right, um, heading into battle. It's gonna be 32. And right there he's constant guarding with Black Specula. And that's probably, and that's uh, really why I didn't want to go into Stun Beetle. Okay, now this is like really the moment where, okay, yeah, he dropped. Alright, uh, first, heal. You're gonna have to give power to the one rear guard that doesn't have anything. Uh, second check, and the third check. And that brought us only one trigger. Alright, 17 to Vanguard. It's going to grab with a 10k, and finally a 16 to Vanguard. Oh man, those intercepts. Turn. And that's why uh, Dark, uh, not Dark Face, um, Crime Bug and Sweet Co Cocktail are really good because it prevents the opponent from intercepting. <laughs> Time to clutch. Oh man, going into Astroff once more. Oh man, actually about that new Machining Legion, I really don't like it and I see uh, people saying it's a lot better than Stag Beetle, but really, I, I prefer Stag Beetle. Yes, he has 1,000 less power, but um, on Ride, he's superior calls. The Legion has to be during the main phase, and you know, I see people saying, oh, it's, it can counter uh, Shadow Paladin and Kalgro. No, it doesn't, because they can still be retired, as with Stag Beetle. You already have the rear guards, and you can still stride, so... Yeah. But <laughs> that's just my opinion. <laughs> I'm calling that Ron, Ron Shinrin, Greenland, whatever it is. I forget its English name. I don't play Dark Regulars. Justin does. Probably counting his soul and stuff. I mean, yeah, but uh, for me, when I'm playing Mega Colony, I'm trying to go for a short game by uh, stunning the opponent's vanguard, you know, consistently and easily. But, uh, yeah. I need soul charging, let's see. Oh man. This is gonna be real heavy. But I have one hit I can take. Two if I'm lucky to get a heal trigger. But I kind of doubt that I will. Man at 28k. Uh I'm gonna guard 30k to that for a uh, no pass. That, that critical trigger. I, th I think it's safe to assume that we survive. And guard. Drawing a uh, stride. Fortunately can't do stun beetle as we're missing one counter blast, but uh, still have enough for <laughs> destroyer. Getting into battle. 32 to Vanguard. Alright, no guarding. First check, second check, heal. Power to rearguard. Third. Ah, oh, no crit. Oh man. Saved himself with that six damage heal. But can it last him though? 17 to um, I believe this should be 16. Yeah, because it's during his turn. Yeah, there we go. Starting with that, and 
Oh man, it's gonna have to intercept with that. Oh, not intercepting. All right. Although he's gonna have to rely on drawing into a grade three. Can he do it? Can Justin do it? <laughs> the ultimate clutch. Come on. Oh man. Looks like he's gonna lose. Yep. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. Eat some spaghetti. Re forgetty, you're regretty. Oh man. Can't go into any more destroyers, but stun beetle. Yeah, assuming that's GG because he still has all that uh, heals in the stack. But I have the crits! 32. Yeah, there we go, crit. Uh, power to regard. Yep, GG. That was a good game, though. All well, the pressure that he's, uh, that he has. And that clutch. In the six damage shield, that was, that was good. Alright, I'm gonna go build Lewis's scrub deck. Alright, no, I'm gonna go build all the, uh, all the decks that, that people in the chat have, uh, sent me. So then I build Gear Chronicle, uh, Orgeyser Damned, and, uh, Vermilion. And, the um, yeah. Yes, Lewis, I'm building your deck, don't worry. I'm gonna build all the decks. And then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, um, go into the chat and get that, get the, uh, the deck list. I don't know why I couldn't say it. <laughs> Alright, so if, if nobody can, um, Oh, I can't get the deck list because chat. All right, comment your deck list again because I can't. I can't uh, get them. Oh no, I don't want to do that. There we go. Lewis, I'll just build your Verm uh, your uh, Vermilion deck from what I can remember. Oh no, Aries not respond. Oh, right there we go. Um, yeah, he's fighting Drake of Good, I believe. Oh, I need to click new deck. All right, you can uh fight me if you can't tell my uh my handle on card fighter area is uh LG Amaterasu. No. Well, Lewis, I'm gonna have to build your deck now because the other guy is gonna fight me. Oh man, this is like really small. Let me change it up. I'm sorry for doing this, but yeah, it's it's more of a comfortability thing for me. All right, fine. You know, you could just copy and paste to save time. Back to that. Okay, fine. Let me load a deck. Uh, I'm gonna go with dark face this time. I'm gonna be evil. There you are. All right, let me move this so I can actually see the chat because CFA likes to reposition itself. And let me get my starter so you know don't shuffle beforehand. Have somehow got an SP trigger in here. Why are you not using Shadow? Oh, yeah, that's right. Not using Shadow Bond, you're just using Gear Chronicle. Well, when the trigger comes, just count it as the trigger as it is. I'm not gonna. It's just a casual game, so. I, don't really, I really don't mind. 
Yeah, something that I noticed about uh, Body Fight Area and uh, Card Fight Area is that sometimes whenever you go click stuff, you uh, click on cards that you don't mean to when they add them to the deck. It gets really annoying. Lewis, if you saw earlier, I couldn't, um, I couldn't scroll back up that far. The chat just sort of stops at a thing. Darn, missing a certain grade. Alright, just to make just to make uh, commentating easier, I'm gonna um, add him into Skype. Cause I'm probably boring you guys out of all hell just by myself. Yeah, I'm not I'm not good commentating by myself, even though I do let's plays. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys in the chat wanna add me on Skype, also do so as well. I really don't mind. Just let me go check the uh, thing. Only says it's sent, so I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, I'll just wait till. Oh wait, no, no, I just got it. I can think. Yep. Hey there. So. All right, so if um, if you're watching the stream, can you uh, mute it or else the. Uh, I, I already did. Okay, cool. They say I'll need extra. extra I'll need information. I'll need no to play to play Vanguard. That kind of speaks the point. <laughs> but yeah, I'm keeping all. All right, um, I've already redrawn and everything. All right, heads or tails. Um, heads. Go ahead. All right, uh, draw. I'm gonna ride into Phantom Black. Yep. I'm gonna move Prime Bug to the rear guard, and it's your turn. Stay standing and draw. Ride, Miss Geyser Dragon. Move Time Peace Draco Kid to the to the rear guard. Enter the battle phase. Boost. 10k to your vanguard. Uh, no guard. Check the drive. No trigger. Damage. Turn end. Up. Draw. Ah, right into Bloody Hercules. Alright. Gonna call Sweet Cocktail and Tail Joe. Yep. Heading into battle. Attack, he gets plus three since all your rear guards, or, yeah. yeah, since all your units are at rest. No guard. Heal trigger, power to the vanguard. Alright, 15 to vanguard. Uh, no guard. Alright, check. No trigger. Damage check, stand trigger, power to vanguard, stand. Trigger. Trigger. Okay. Uh, your turn. Yeah, that, that, yeah. The Sanctuary is, is my one tech in because for the because the skill is like really good. On yeah. It. <laughs> and actually, won me a couple games at Pasadena too. Nice. R Ride Panzer Eel. Right. No, for some reason they have it as Puzzle Eel. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call Panzer Eel and call Amber. Right. Man, all the toms. Yep, that's what this deck is all about. Gar is uh, screwing my opponents guarding. Yeah, I can tell. Alright, Panther Eel will attack your sweet cocktail. I'm gonna guard with Raider Mantis. Boost. 13 to the Vanguard. Uh, no guarding that. Check the drive. No trigger. Damage check. Critical trigger. I'm gonna give all effects to sweet cocktail. Yep. Boost. Uh, put, maybe put, put some more guards on that. I'm gonna guard on uh, the Tail Joe. Turn end. Alright, draw. Oh boy, here comes the uh, G-Assist. <laughs> and of course- oh wait, no, I was gonna say I didn't hit anything, but of course the last card is Dark Face! Yep, and now you have to get rid of two cards of your, yeah. your three-card hand. I really don't mind doing that, honestly. Yeah. But the problem is, is because two of them are the stride enablers, and one of them is, is the perfect the guard. Which, kind of, which makes it kind of sad. Yeah, I don't <laughs> mind losing a perfect guard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, at Rachel's, I purposely, when I went first, I purposely skipped growing grade three, just so they go grade three first. Ah. Uh, so I get first stride. Especially, that, um, against, especially against Think Saver. Yeah, that, that's what I did. That's, well, did. Yeah, that's what I do with my um, Machinane deck that I have in real life. 
You gonna go for your Amber with Heljo? Uh, do I care? Uh, I'll, I'll intercept. Don't worry, Lewis. I won't lose the uh, deck list if nobody chats. Uh, 16. No guard. The first, it's a heal trigger. I'm gonna get the power to sweet cocktail and heal. Yep. The second is a critical. Putting Crit the crit on uh, Vanguard to Vanguard. power on cocktail. Yep. First, critical trigger, power to amber. And there's prone chat. Alright. 19 to um, Puzuru Eagle. Uh, let's see. Do I want to take that? Uh, sure, whatever. Alright. Your turn. Say, or sand and draw. Let's see. Let's try Chrono Chat Dragon. Sure. Stride into Lost Age. Oh, he's the uh, on hit, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Chrono Jet skill. Sure. Uh, tuck away Sweet Cocktail. Oh, no. Gear Wolf skill. Plus 3k. Alright. If the game would let me change. It's a 10k. Just hit uh, space. Yeah, whatever. It just just uh, s uh CFA being weird. Yeah. 30k to the vanguard. Unfortunately, no guard. Tri triple, first, second, heal trigger, powered amber, heal, and third. Critical trigger, power to or critical to vanguard, power to amber. Alright, first check. Oh no, second to second yep. cocktail. Then that, yep. Then lost age skill, lo uh tell Joe to the bottom of the deck. Alright. And up plus another three K to Gearwolf, he's at thirteen. Right. Boost. Amber skill. Booster to bomb uh crime bug to bomb deck. Alright. Gearwolf now at or now has plus nine, so it's add an extra nine onto that. Alright, so thirty five. Yep. To the Vanguard. No guard. And turn. Stand and draw. Going to stride. Oh, wait, no. Not draw. <laughs> not, not draw two cards. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Said. Yep. Said this, this is not o OTT. Kind of wish it was. Tsukuyomi. Best deck. Uh, Paraspear. Yep. Let's go uh, Amber and Gearwolf. They are, they are Giga Stunned. Yep, and Paraspear allows me to draw. Oh boy, Bloody Hercules. Well, it hit something. Yep, 26. I'm going to have to PG that. Alright. Uh, and this card... Oh, this card, card the Chapel and Crook Tree is somehow my deck. <laughs> First check. Second check. Third check. Ah, uh, didn't hit anything. Well, you can attack Amber, but I don't think you I don't think we'll lose on a chance to draw. Eh. Bye. Turn. I already got the one draw from Paraspear. Alright, stand and draw. Uh, let's see. Stride. Alright. Ragnar Clock. Actually, wait, don't want to clock. Actually, no, this is better. Stride for, for Fate Rider Dragon. Alright. Uh, Chrono Jet. Bottom. Alright. Uh, Fate Rider Skill. Sure. Oh, not draw. To the bottom of the deck. Spirit mm -hmm. Call. Let's see, I'm on Crowjet, I don't need that, so let's call, where is he, call off Panzer Eel, right. give, give the power from Fate, Fate Rider to Panzer Eel so he gets plus 3k. Alright. Uh, Justin says that you can use the um, the middle mouse button, the left I, wheel. It, I've been trying that, That's, I already know how to do it, but it's uh, CFA doesn't want it to work for whatever reason. I see. Well, do you have the um, the chat thing open? Like, what's your name? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happens uh, all the time. It's like, it's not using it, but it's still there. Uh, do I want to go ahead and use starter? Eh, sure, why not? Just try to th down the deck. Don't hit anything, but there's no triggers in there anyways. So, mm -hmm. all good. <laughs> Alright. Battle? Sure. Fate Rider will attack. I'm gonna go 30k for no pass. Alright, triple, first, second, and third. Oh, thank god, no crit. 
Uh, 12k, no, no skill. Alright, uh, I'm gonna guard with Taildro. Or yep. not Taildro, a Stealth Millipede. They look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, draw. Stride? Sure, stride. Oh, that might that minus. <laughs> yeah. Pair spear. Let's yep. Draw, draw a card. One. Hey, look well, who actually, it is. Well, actually, I don't have three more rested units. Oh, it's right. Uh, like, <laughs> awkward. All right, then in that case, it's probably better not to stride. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh. Yeah, stun beetle. Stun. Okay. Twenty six. Let's see, 20, 21, 31, let's see, put that in there, so I'm at 36, so that's 2, uh, let's make it 3 pass. Alright, first, oh, second, draw, power to stun beetle, draw, third, oh man, that crit, or not crit, <laughs> the uh, perfect card. Yes, I can speak correctly. And I'm assuming that you stun ill with the uh, dark face, or should not use dark face as skill. I'm not using it right now. All right. Sand and draw. Uh, let's see. Stride. All right. Riding clock. And riding clock skill. All right. Mm, let's call. Let's and let's just go ahead and try to kill you this turn. All right, I'm going to use uh, Dark Faces GB2 on Ruin Disposal. Yep. Yeah, you already know what this does. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Content. One, two, power and draw. Three, no criticals. All right. Uh, no skill. All right. I'm gonna take that crit. And go ahead. Draw. Oh boy, it's right. Good luck. Yep. Let's try Stun Beetle once more. Oh, I'm going to Giga Paralyze, Ruin Disposal, and Steam Breath. Yep. Yep. Sweet Cocktail and Phantom Black. Hanging in the back. Alright. Oh. Yep, no intercept. Yep, no intercept on him oh. and. Oh. Stop. And I'll take I'll take that power and draw. All right, twenty six. Let's see, twenty six. Thirty one, thirty six. That's two, and I can't intercept with that. So let's just call this. All right, three to pass. First crit, all effects to stun beetle. Second draw, power to stun beetle, and I draw. Third, all. Yay! I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You stay stunned and draw. All right, what do, I, what do I have over here? All right. Um, your uh, Panzer area is still paralyzed. Uh, oh right. And I didn't uh, actually rereading Sweet Cocktail. I didn't know she had the uh, Giga paralyzed. Same with Dark Face. The same power of uh, Dark Face. Uh, uh, ride rune disposal. Alright. And I'm going to call Gearwolf. Sure. Legion. Right. So I'm gonna assume that you're gonna send a uh, sweet cocktail back. Yep. Yep. Put back my heels, put back my crits. Uh, actually, I think I might. Actually, I need to put back one of, one of the Legion mates. So I'm gonna put the one put the crit, uh, throwing worker back. All right. Let's see. Grab. I really wish you can just shortcut and just take the mate from the drop zone and put it in legion when you're gonna do that anyways. Uh, when I do that, I just put it into the soul. It makes it easier. And then plus three k. Boost. And also. All right, wait. Let me go to battle phase. I'll fly help. And then swing for 31 to the vanguard. Or 32 right. to the vanguard. I'm going to Condon guard and I unflip. Yep. Twin drive. First. Second. And go ahead. 
All right. I'm going to you, draw. Yeah, you, uh, you draw two. Oh wait, that's right. Actually, no, I draw three from a sweet cocktail. Oh uh, yeah. All right, stride. The amount of grade three is being drawn in this game is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. All right, stun beetle. Go with uh, tail Joe. Yep. Um, actually, no, Tail Joe right here and uh, Bloody Hercules. Yep. All your units are at rest, so Tail Joe gets plus, plus three. three. Gonna swing with him first. Let's see. Guard. Alright. Stun Beetle hits uh, Vanguard, or attacks Vanguard. Well, let's see if I die. No guard. First, the second, heal, giving power yep. to Bloody Hercules, and I heal. Third, and I that's game. Yep, GG. Yep, GG. Yeah, this is what I played at Pasadena. Really nice. So, yeah, I I play against three. I play against four different things every day. So I only lost to one, which is the first one of the day, because I got one grade three. That doesn't work with this deck. Uh, to my all. memory, I think the only deck I lost to at uh, Pasadena was a, uh, oh, a great nature deck. No, I got I lost twice, but one but one was timeout against the X. It was. But, I mean, if it was for timeout, it was hard to say who would have won. Uh, so, beyond that, I went 5-2 with this deck. Nice. I mean, it's, I mean, it's going to change a lot once uh, GBO4 drops. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I already have a mock-up for what we already have seen, but the comments may change what the other makeup of the deck is. Yeah, and you have that rare that essentially lets you to superior ride into Chrono Jet. Yeah, yeah that's that's going that's replacing Rune's puzzle, but Panzer Eel is still saying it, because you can't complain about us on it, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Because, like, what I've noticed that, uh, or at least what people that play, my team that played, the GCs, no one played him for whatever reason. Despite the fact he's, like, really good. He is really good, because if anything you want to, you know, um, restrict your opponent's guarding so it applies pressure. Yep, that's what, well, that's what this deck's designed to do. And it does that job very well. Because you're, because you're kind of worried if I got a crit, and with Panzer Eel, you're like, please don't get crit. (laughs) Yeah. So I kind of noticed that. Yeah, I mean, but I also run a full playset of Isham as well, which yeah. used to be the one that's getting changed, that's getting swapped out mm. with the new stuff, new set. Because I, I found when playing this deck, I don't use her skill very much. Oh. but that's probably just because of the fact that I would rather just go for ill, and it doesn't require as much setup to do to pull it off. Yeah, and the combo boss is very valuable in this deck. Definitely, especially so, um, like you know, if you don't have a meshy or don't run meshy. This deck doesn't run it. I never got hold of them, but this deck actually didn't even need it, which was the funny, oh. which was the nice part, because because I know how to manage my resources where I don't run out counter blast for no reason. I see. Because if you notice, I was only getting rid of key, the, your key units when I was using Chrono Jet. Oh yeah. Because there's no point of using Chrono Jet just to get rid of a booster that doesn't really do anything by itself. Yeah. Or or that doesn't combo into into some other pieces of the deck. And the Fate Rider edition was something I got that day, and that card won so many games. The skill's just really good. Definitely. Do you run it as a uh, one of or two of? It's a, uh, th- this is what my strike deck looks like, I- including the four riding clock, which is just a staple. But this is what I what I had for Grant for Tassino. I see. I mean, because technically the two Chrono Command was more of a meta game choice because I was expecting to see quite a bit of Aqua Force decks because it just because it land broke, land broke. Yeah. But but my team only fought against one one Aqua Force deck, which was the which I didn't fight it. Uh, I see. Yeah. No. Um. I was playing against a uh, Blue Flame Liberator guy, and the person right next to me was playing Aqua Force, and he did have his Lambroses. Mhm. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad I didn't face up against him. Yeah. L- lamb lamb broke. <laughs> yeah. So, so Gear Girl can actually beat it, you just have to manage, you just have to control what you get rid of. Yeah. And of course, make sure you, you have your card set up to not die on Lambro's turn. Definitely. But I mean, but also, one thing I do differently, besides the one besides the, the one stand in the deck, is I also, but before I had the extra stand, I, I was doing playing 6-6-4 six, six, to make the deck take a little bit tankier. So mm-hmm. I can live through more stuff, because like because a lot of what happens is you're gonna generally gonna die on the earlier turns, 
to Aqua Force, so having extra draw power does help the deck a lot. I see. So like, I mean, like newer build, like the draw, the, the stand trigger is going back back to a, a draw trigger. Yeah. Because this was just a little for funsy funsy pick that that we decided to throw in that midnight and, and play that play that day with no play testing to it, <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> It's it's just, it's just like that that make games, and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I also run one glimmer breath, but I end up just writing it because I never I I generally end up sitting on rune disposal more than chrono jet all enough in, in this deck because I don't because a lot a lot of the matchups you don't really need to be on chrono jet to win. So I just yeah. sit on so I just sit with a 13k swing in Vanguard and Legion when I need to. Although with the new um you know with fighters collection now, if you're going up yep. against Taco Force, you know upheaval Pegasus is also pretty nice. It, yeah, it could work, but it would also backfire too, depending on how how unlucky you are. Yeah, but I mean, like I see more Pegasus be more of a, as a comp piece. Like if you set up with a bunch of gear wolves in the in the back line, and, and then get like a Panzer Eel and get some Panzer Eels in your hand, you can go uh, upheaval, use upheaval to send all their stuff back, and then get uh, power up your uh, gear wolves, and then swing with with uh, Panzer giant pa Panzer Eel columns. Yeah, that, um, I actually built a deck around that um, on an earlier update of CFA where I did um, upheaval yeah. Pegasus with uh, you know Gear Wolf and Mist Gazers. Yeah. 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 Cause, I mean, it's gonna get it's gonna be a lot easier to do with the four second Chrono Jet. Because <laughs> that's what the, that's, that was the biggest problem with that with upheaval Pegasus is that if you don't get Chrono Jet, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Which is what I was waiting for before I uh, used any of the. More of the specific, be if you're on Chrono Jet Vanguard, do X because you don't, you're not always going to be on the Chrono Jet. Yeah. Which thankfully they fixed that problem. I mean, I granted, I actually want another just a Chrono Jet, but a, a, a Balan Greater for Gear Conquer works too. Yeah. But yeah. You know. All right. Maybe. Uh, they did confirm support for Gear Chronicle in the uh, next set after set four. We, you know, Pale Moon, Link Joker, and everyone. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it, well um, it's the main clan, so they have to. Uh, I mean, I think there's like one set from the season one that that did not have Royal Paladin and stuff in it when I was the main set, which this which this season did the same thing. Yeah. But I, mean, you know, I just want to see what, how they handle support for Gear Chronicle in set four because you know they're getting a uh, next stage, which people are speculating to be either a rest yeah standard. Well, I mean, I don't think it's ever guard restriction since an anime. They, 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 uh, they, you saw them do a, P do a PG. Yeah. Well, funny thing is, me and my friend Justin were uh, actually discussing that earlier. And it's like, okay, so maybe Chrono Next Age is a guard restrictor because you know the uh, Mega Colony player had t uh, ten cards in his hand. Yeah. But, you know, in the fight with uh, I forget his yeah. name, Narukami player. Yeah. You know, he but he P guards so. Yeah, what, I mean, it might be like uh, Rat Rack like Riding Clock, where he can't put zeros in the Mech Colony players had a bunch of zeros in his hands, but who knows? Yeah. That, that or, or he was most, or that he was mentally scarred by the appearance of a card he didn't know what the hell it was. Or maybe he just didn't get enough sleep. <laughs> yeah, he did. He looked like he was missing some sleep. <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah, but I mean, Gear Chronicle deck is going to be my main deck for a while because I don't want to spend money to build another deck. Because this I spent like 150 on this deck. But I also got the Rhino Claws before they went up to 30 for whatever reason. I got them when they were 15. Nice. And I got the PGs when they were 6. I don't, I don't know what, like like the next week after I bought them, I saw the price just jump up for whatever reason. I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> Between that the Ragnar Clock was good. Yeah, but but then after Pasadena, a lot of people were giving up Gear Chronicle because they didn't play like they thought it would. But that's probably just because they were trying to play Nixie Number, which really isn't that great, in my opinion. Yeah, it really isn't. And also, the fact is, Mate doesn't do anything by itself, unlike Panther Ill, who actually who can win you the game by himself. Yeah. That's another thing I noticed at Pasadena. A lot of Gear Chronicle players were, were playing Nixie Number, which I didn't really agree with. Yeah. But, my girlfriend, but, she she plays Nixie Number in the uh, Gear Chronicle deck that she's building. Mm, I can see it be, be better if you're doing like a pure Legion build, not with not a deck with Chrono Chat. Well, that's what she's doing. Oh, she's doing uh, Ruin Disposal and Nixie Number. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean Nixie Number isn't that great, by it, or it doesn't break once only the only Legion because the fact that Sucker does nothing when you're not in Legion. Yeah. I mean, who wants to, who wants to like K Vanilla? Yeah, 
Yeah, I want to play against the uh, the version I come up for for GBO four. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's similar concept, but there's a few, it's slightly different. Be- yeah. Just because because the newer support is yeah. going. But yeah, I mean, on this, I, I, I do more deck build than I do actually playing the decks. Just because, just because I find it more enjoyable just to build random decks to see what see what they do, or see what you can't. If something is possible, or if something needs more support, to make it work. Yes, like uh, like I said earlier in the stream, yeah, I I'm the deck builder for my team. Like I, I mainly enjoy building decks more than I do actually playing the decks. Same with my friend uh, Colin, you know, he you know, a sure Causer player. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my group, we kind of all like building decks, but one person who likes play, only plays Kagero. Or, oh. Crush, he only, he only plays Overlord, is probably what I should say. Oh. Because he, he, he has had every iteration of, of, of Overlord deck since, it came, since set one. Wow. Yeah. And then the uh, Riser player, he, he, he likes to build the weirdest scrub decks that you go, why are you trying to make this deck work? It's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, because the one that kind of worked was the uh, Cobalt Way, but he also did the a Morikuma, Morikuma New Atama deck, which did not uh, my brain hurt from seeing that. I don't like, know. I don't, I don't get how that's supposed to work. It doesn't. <laughs> like, it basically just took a pile of cards and threw them together to see, and, saw what ha- and went to see what happened. Nah. Then again, yeah, that's, that's that's kind of how a lot of his uh, abominations end up. <laughs> yeah, about pop, pop, pop car, so in the deck, see what happens. Hmm. My friend tries to do that with um, mainly Yu-Gi-Oh decks. That's even hard to pull off. And <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> at least in Vanguard, you have, you have a chance to win if you get enough triggers. Definitely. And in yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. The entirety of the meta is minus 800, not Ice Barriers, Puppets, and Burning Wallet. Oh, Christian, the entire meta of Yu-Gi-Oh! is I, I, that I shut down everything you do, and I, and I will continue winning because you can't do anything about what I'm doing. Pretty much. So it ends up being, like, really, like, if you're not the one being, uh, being a very oppressive, they're being oppressive. No. Yeah. And it really goes, okay, who can get their, uh, who can get their combos out the fastest? Yep. Or who can shut down the other player? Yeah. Which is kind of one of the reasons why I quit. Because besides the fact that the power creep on that on you go just keeps escalating more and more. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually, I actually do want to applaud my friend Chris because uh, I believe it was on Sunday that we uh, we went to a local shop. It's called mm-hmm. Wild West Comics, and um, he ended up beating a Necros deck. Like a hundred percent complete Necros deck with a uh, super heavy samurai deck. I'm actually building a super he- heavy samurai deck right now. I, I gotta admit, build, building that deck is kind of you know. It's it's easy because it most of it is like extremely cheap. So I have for the most part a complete deck. And I got it for thirty dollars. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just missing like a few key parts in the extra deck, such as Beast. Yeah. But I mean, I got like the entire main. I got pretty much almost the entire main deck. Outside of a few cards like Baylor Maxis. Yeah. Are you running uh, and, uh, Shun Doji? Uh, sh- uh yeah. Huh? The, the newest Synchro. It just oh, came oh out yeah. Of, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got one. I want one more for it. Uh, my friends were only running a one. Uh, I like two. I like two. Just because a lot, cause just, since a lot of decks now are like back row heavy. Yeah. And and the fact that it that you could turn allows battle baller to synchro synchro with the level four, which is very relevant. Yeah, I mean, cause like what I mean, you really don't think that the super heavy samurai really needs is more synchros for battle baller to hit more stuff. Yeah. And also, I like call net cross money cloth. Money cloth, yeah, especially with the the, the Brian axe. The, the, the entire, the, I think like the entire deck is like super super rare and above. If I remember correctly, yeah, I believe it's super rare and secret rares, and I think that's it. Yeah, and uh, all of them are expensive. Yeah, and you know that doesn't even go into like all the staple stuff where that has like different rarities. Yep. Yep, because they because they have they had to have their 
Hollow Rick Yankees. They have to have their Super Hollow whatever MSPs and after tournament pack stuff. So on, so forth. Yeah, because most every player says it's a hollow whore. Yeah. <laughs> not even joke. That's not even a lie either. But, but meanwhile, I'm the opposite. I'm like, can I? Can is there not full, non full version of this that's cheaper? Give me that one. <laughs> I will admit, I'm a rarity whore when I can actually get it. If I can't, then you know I'll go for whatever I can get. But if me it's saving money, you, you, you'll take the money. You'll take take the money saving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that's definitely something I should be doing because well, I'm a jobless high school student. Like, yeah. you know, money's kind of hard to come by. Money's hard to come back regardless. Regardless, what <laughs> high school, college, or whatever, <laughs> just because trying to get a job is a pain in the butt these days. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And also, GB uh, Forge me and just my group because because there's like three like, no because no my group wants the Shadow Pal and the Royal Paladin or the Angel Feather stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so we have three clans. We have to decide who gets who gets the rest of it after after all the other stuff they already want, <laughs> which, which which is kind of ironic because yeah. so, because in fact two of our mainstream clans and none of us want it. Yeah. Yeah, for a GB two four like when my entire group. We're, um, like, me, myself, I'm gonna go for the, uh, Neo Nectars, Angel Feather, and Mega Colony. And the Neo Nectars and Angel Feathers are just for my girlfriend. I'm, like, I'm going for the Mega Colony stuff for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going just for the Gear Chronicle stuff. Uh, the Riser player is going for Mega Colony stuff, and then the other person's going for Genesis and Neo Nectar. Uh. Oh, and one of my friends is also going for Royal Paladin, because... Mm. Yeah, we, we had a Paladin player, but, but he's... Apparently, he sold all his royal paladin stuff to get rid of his south paladin and just focus on on his golds. Uh. So, but of course, the real question is whether um, oatmeal or an Elisha will be actually playable with their grade four strides are in good. Yeah, because that's something that you know royal paladin players and neo Necro players have to you know constantly watch for because you know you also um i believe they did show off a the uh, the last double rare for neo nectar which is you know an asha support card and you know yeah, if, the, if the asha stride isn't as good then you know that that might, that might as well be it for neo nectar yeah i mean i mean also what the, that what they also both need is similar to what uh crowdjet got is a way to get them onto the vanguard circle yeah because cause that's the pro biggest problem with with the requires X Vanguard is when there's not when you can't consistently get the right Vanguard there. Yeah. And of course, well, o well, Oatmeal's problem is Thanks Saver exists, and so does Sanctuary Guard. Yeah, I I'm I'm actually kind of disgusted at uh, Sanctuary Guard's price because me myself, I've always hated Sanctuary Guard since it came out. Lewis can testify for me. Yeah, and and then Fire Collection, they're all the rage. Yeah. Oh, they they put up a new me uh, machining card common for uh, Meg Colony. Oh, they did. Was yeah. it the um the Soul Blast or the Soul Charge guy? Yeah, Soul Soul Charge. It it basically feel, uh feeds into uh, Dark Face. Oh. Well, actually, actually, you can't play with Dark Face because it requires a Vanguard machining. Oh, okay. So it requires a machining Vanguard. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I mean it'd be really well with Dark Face. Yeah, I mean they could have just managed and like a uh, cheap break one, and it'll be good, and it'll be good for good for the dark base to allow him to consistently use his soul blast or his uh, cheap break two. Machining Slater, that's what it's called. Oh, and yep. I see they showed off um, the the strides for uh, Vagrant and the leader. Oh, they oh they fi they finally put those up. Yeah, like a close up of the I people are speculating is an Oxus stride and um. Oh, uh, gray one. Yeah, and the other one maybe an arc, uh, and maybe Arc Saber Dragon, but you know who knows. Yeah, I mean, looks like they're, they're making uh, Blaster Blade another type. Yeah. But before it became Blaster Blade. Yeah, Ames. Mm-hmm. So so it's been a blight. Yeah. It's also be interesting to see if uh, Suppressive Black Dragon this year the would be played. Because basically, it turn makes you play two as your three as your geysers and then one damned to make it work. Yeah, I've heard um, you know people saying, "Oh, they're not gonna run it because it isn't as good." Mm, 
I, I, yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, it gets, it's, it easily gets a crit, gets a crit, and it gives you, and it feels hand advantage, and also it kills stuff too. But again, it's gonna require testing before it sports the A or nay. And well, they do have war gods that are damned on um, on here now. Yep. Yeah. yeah, actually, mil uh, made a Clarence deck, so we can we can try it. See if. Uh, All right. Because my friend Lewis uh, gave me the uh, deck list. All right. Deck, so. oh, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll play Cla uh, Clarence versus that one. That way we see which shell uh, variant is gonna be the better version. All right. Though I imagine the Revenger one will probably be stronger just because they have the be they have way strong a lot better support. Yeah. Then again, it's kind of hard. Then again, a best is a beating. Yeah. And my god, is that card expensive as crap right now? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I feel sorry for anyone that want, that wants to build Revengers that doesn't already have them. Yeah. You know, they're going, aren't they going for like 40 each now? Uh, they were last time I checked, unless they gone up or down, which I'm about to which I'm about to check right now. I highly doubt that they went down, honestly. Mm, yeah. Then I, well, then again, most cards don't go down in Fanger unless there's some unless there's like a strict upgrade to it. Yeah. Also, Lewis, forgive me if I uh, play the deck wrong. Um, they're actually you can actually get them for you actually. There's actually one person. There's actually one store selling them for uh, twenty eight plus two dollars shipping. Huh. So three dollars. That's not. So it's not, it's it went down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You know, that's then kind get, of too rich for my blood. I know. <laughs> Fifteen dollars a car is the high is the most I will spend on every single. I car. think the most I will spend, depending on what uh, if I really really need it, is uh, maybe like twenty. Even that can be stretching it. And, and oh, and Blaster Dark Revenger is more expensive than Abyss. Yeah, I, I kind of find that ridiculous. Yeah, it's thirty two at the lowest. Oh. Yeah, I feel sorry for anyone else. Well, that wants to build Avengers that doesn't already have those. Yeah. But yeah, I think isn't Sanctuary Guard just as bad right now? Yeah, I think Sanctuary Guard himself is going for thirty. And of course, um, machine stuff also jumped up too because of how good. Yeah. That deck is. Uh, Sanctuary Guard is twenty-seven right now. Ugh. Lewis, can you remind me who uh, Dark Re Dark Revenger is? Uh, Blaster Dark of Re uh, wait, uh, wait. Oh, that yeah, that's probably what, who he's talking about. I mean, it, I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it's in the deck since that's like a staple of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, where are you? Come to me, Karma Collector. Hey, also, I wanted to originally build uh, new Mas uh, Messiah stuff, but then then I saw that, that the fact that they made GR hard to get, and the fact M MST is is uh, thirty nine dollars. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll just stick to my Gear, Gear Chronicle deck. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I wanted to build a, um, a Messiah as well, but you know, I'm just but, but it's it's like like you want to build a deck, then you see the price, like mm, eh, never mind. <laughs> it's like my 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 wallet d can't take that hit. But since you need like at least one, at least need two to make the pen on your build. Yeah. And oh, oh, big crunch went up a little bit. Looks like. Oh, did he? Uh, well, he's like twenty-one right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. He he did he did spike. There was actually one point that he was at fourteen. Then then for some reason he, just, he jumped. I'm assuming there's probably like an ARG event where they did where uh, it did well. Mm, yeah. And because I don't think there's, cause I don't think Boucher was putting up any deck list for their for the current events yet.
Then I know that um, Gold Pounds is, do is doing pretty good too right now. Yeah, I recently faced a. Um, well, I believe that's why a, a Spear Cross went from five to twenty. Yeah. But I uh, I faced a. Uh, I believe it was with Pelinor Gurgant. Pro uh, oh yeah, I know I know I know that, I know that build. Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah, if I remember, I think uh, Hank took that up to uh, use that build. Oh no, no, wait, no, wait, he didn't play that. He played Nor Norkami, but he for a for like a fun game, uh, like he played the Gold Paladin deck and he, and he did some BS combo with Pel with uh, that deck with Pelinor. Really? Mm-hmm. And Hank was the one who got first place at Pastina, or whose team got first place at Pastina. Wow. He goes to the store. Goes to the locals I go to. Oh, really? Yeah. So my locals are, are not. It's not. It's not really casual. No. Um. I don't know if you know the shop, but it's called a uh, Warren's Card Shop. That's my locals. Uh. uh well. Yeah. It's, I probably haven't cause I, since it's probably like an hour away from where I live. Since it's in Fort Worth. Uh. Yeah. Cause ours is in a uh, Grand Prairie. Oh. Uh, yeah, but the uh, mines in either uh, uh, Rockwall, Garland, and then Mesquite. So I have like three different carts I can go to, and there's a few in Dallas. Uh, I'm actually uh, going to do a shop in uh, Fort Worth on Sunday. Uh, well, this this hand needs needs one cart, needs something to make it look slightly better. But anyways, he heads or tails? Uh, tails. I'll go first. Alright. Draw. Uh, let's ride Dark Horse Dragon. And pass the turn. Alright, I'm going to draw. Oh man. Ride a Karma Collector. Oh, perfect Rhydo. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm going to attack with Karma Collector. One to pass. Yep. Draw. If... It's your turn. Say, sending and draw. Uh. Oh, I put the wrong signals in. Oh well. And I'm going to have to G assist. Oh. Yeah, I actually. I apparently was paying attention to what peaches I, what peaches I put in. I put the quintet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta live with it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm, I'm, I got, I was actually kind of irritated that they, um, gave witches a quintet instead of a constant guard until the legend deck. And yet, you know, they gave, um, Revengers their constant guard, like, uh, which is perfectly understandable, but, you know, why couldn't they just give witches a, um, a new perfect guard? I mean, well, it technically <laughs> they did with Genesis, but, I mean, like, a Shadow Paladin witch. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of the draw trigger. Alright. And I'm going to swing. One pass. Does not pass. Good. Go ahead. Alright, I'm going to draw right into Melody of Revenge or Masquerade. Yep. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm calling it right here. Uh, 12. Mmm, I'll take that one. Alright. Nine. Uh nope. I'm gonna no pass that one. Alright, draw trigger. Oh the draw triggers. Yep. Sand and draw. Uh, let's see. I could do that and make up for the advantage I've actually not um, Hmm. That's a very interesting lines of play. I think this one probably uh Rye Toto which skill. Alright. Gotta make up for the minus two I had to do to myself. Alright, where is it? And I'm going to draw some cards. Can you know, Black Wing Sword Breaker. Yep. You know, I kinda hope that Demon World Castle will actually get more support so that they can become a full fledged deck. Well, I'm, oh, I mean, this one's actually not that bad. Mm. Uh, I mean, like the on the on ride skill is pretty pretty useful since you get to call Swordbreaker or any other great one that works with the deck. Yeah. 
Alright, dark call, dark pride dragon. Alright. Battle phase. Boost. And 16 to the van. I'm gonna take that. Check the drive. First. Second. Heal trigger. Power dark quartz. Heal. Damage. Oh, well, there's, lim there's the limb breaking ailer. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna hit, hit. I'm gonna hit the rear guard for 20. I really don't want to lose that rear guard. Yep. As I say, I know that. That's why I'm killing. That's why I was trying to kill it. Ride or adventure for raging form dragon. So where's limb breaking ailer? Unfortunately, not here. It's in the damage. <laughs> QQ. <laughs> Eleven. No, no garks. You're not restanding that thing. <laughs> now, there it is. Hey, oh, Dragon Ruler. Well, 12k2. Alright, let's go for that Dark Pride. Um, I actually like that guy. Mm, turn. Stand and draw. Ride, Clarence Sword. And I'm going to stride. Hmm. For... Let's see what... Uh, let's see if I can do that or do that, but I think that this is probably the better play. Strike, Dark Recruiter, right. Clarence, Sword, Clarence Sword, Ground Blast 1, Sphere Call 1, Grade 1, gets plus 2k to end of turn. Now, uh, let's see which Grade 1 do I want to call. Uh, I think I might be out of those, looks like. Yep, all those. Oh well. Uh, where is it? There it is. Got a lot of when cars cars hide. Yep. And I guess plus two K. All right. <coughs> and call this. All right. Let's see. Boost. Thirty one to the vanguard. Going to content that. Triple. First. Critical. Uh all effects to this column. Or to Macho. Second check. Third check. No, there's that first spell. I've seen people following me that at like 25 along with White Dwarf. Oh. Uh. Oh, alright, oh, it's a promo. Yeah. Uh. Vanguard with critical. I'm gonna take that. To heal trigger, giving power to Masquerade. Put 5k in front of that. Alright then. Uh, goodbye, Finnegus. <laughs> Draw. Going to stride. Yep. Let's go for Grim Recruiter. Well, can't really say anything since that's like the first stride for every shot about how to play her. <laughs> yep. Alright, 26. Mm. Go ahead. You first. Second. Third. Alright, using his ability. Superior call, mega call. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Finnegus. Let's go 19 to Macho. Mmm, that's fine. Turn. Sand and draw. And I'm going to strike. Alright. It's our geyser. Alright. Uh, now let's go for Clarence Sword. Alright. And then, Orgeyser skill? Wait, oh, it's my attack, never mind. 
Uh, so I gotta hold on that one. So let's call this. Go to battle phase. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. Alright, uh, boost. 15 to Masquerade. I'm going to guard with Air Raid Dragon. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Do I... Yeah, I'll go do it. Boost is our Geyser skill. Alright. There it is. Retiring Sword Breaker and Dark Pride Dragon. Dark Pride Dragons. Oh, actually, at first I had to finish resolving Sword Geyser. Then I build top two cards. So my library or deck one that's one that's one grade one and two so one one grade one so it gets plus five k all right and these now go to my hand then dark pride skill superior call. Then, un then I unflip. Alright. Th then Dark Course Skill, plus 3k to Zorgeyser. So, swing for a giant mount to the Vanguard. No guard. Swing or triple. First, critical to the Vanguard, power to Fierce Bull. Second, critical to Vanguard, power oh, to Fierce Bull. Ah, oh, no, no, no triple critical. <laughs> Critical trigger. Alright. Ah. That deck then even. <laughs> <laughs> I took out like two cards, like three cards out of, out of my deck before I got my triggers. Yep. I'm gonna tell you how many times I triple critted with Sufiomi just because of stacking. <laughs> well, I didn't, I, I didn't stack it, I just didn't have deck enough. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was my hand. Sorry, Lewis. Sword so so, so guys are crits too strong. <laughs> yep. But I do like Dark Bride, Bride, Bride because it does the deck out. Yeah. And, and also provides a counter, a way to unflip damage because you just kill it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the plus 3k from the 1k doesn't hurt. Or it's pretty good too. Mm. Or help. Or it can, it can help push certain numbers. Depending on what's boosting and whatnot. Yeah. Though I can't believe I, I, can't, I can't believe I, I did grab best of them and grab the dead. <laughs> Makes sense. I was out, actually out. setting up to do what my friend, um, what my friend likes to do with this is that he. Um... Oh, and that's the boost of Phantom. All right, so I could just call this. Uh, what he want? What he likes to do is, um... all right. So let's say this is like a grade one or something. He would yep. attack with raging form, and you know, after everything's done, uh, retire these. Rear guards, you know, restand, yeah. attack with this column, you know, use Judge Bow to um, yep. call two yep. rear guards and then rake the drum once more. Yep. But double crit says it kind of doesn't agree with that plan. Yep. <laughs> it's like, I have this master plan, but I get double crit to the face. <laughs> Go straight into Aura Geyser next time. Yeah, I mean, Zorgon is actually it's really good. In fact, it does give a lot of advantage. Yeah. And, and Fort's Cause is pretty cheap, too. No, definitely. Especially if you have, like, skills like Dark Pride, where you can just... Of course, that only works with Clarent. Yeah. Where you, where you can take advantage of, of your sack outlets. Or sacking your units. Yeah. But so with this, I pretty much just... Uh, I was pretty much just sack, just sack to grade one. So, or sack a column... Uh, draw two cards, and and then call a dude. Three. Yeah. And that dude gave your Vanguard plus three, was it? Yep. Yeah. P plus three. Pl yeah, plus three K, and then also the uh, unflip from Dark Pride. So it pretty much make the uh, Zora guys are free for the most part. Yeah. I kind of find it. I kind of. Eh, I can. I find it kind of funny how they uh, call it counter charge. I mean, like, which makes sense, but you know, people are so used to unflipping. Yeah, I mean, it would have saved a lot of tax. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it says unflip. 
But then again, it is it's for newer players that are not used to saying unflip. Yeah. So it is nice to see that uh, the Clarence Burst does have a lot, quite a bit of ways to unflip their damage to keep up their kind of blast shenanigans. Yeah. All Max so only needs is a is a um, way to unflip. unflip as well. I would imagine that they're that they would get. I mean, it looks like cause I would imagine that they're going to get grade one because if you look at all the other set, almost everyone has if what what based on what your clan do, you unflip. You unflip because of this. Because yeah. uh, because Chrono Jet got a new unflip. Genesis got if you saw, believe it's Soul Blast once per turn, you un you uh, unflip. It's a great one. It, it, like it is bolded it today. Uh. So I, I saw it on the Facebook group. Uh, what was it called? Uh, and they also and also Genesis got a the. Generic gen, uh, gen break one stand trigger that every clan gets now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Here, here it is. Um, Kramer Harry. It look. It, it's he's trying to steal uh, Silent Tom's jig. <laughs> but, but yeah, whenever a car is put in the drop zone from Soul, put put that card on bomb your deck and and counter charge. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So that means you can soul blast out your trigger and put it back. Yeah. And on, and on flip. And you don't um, deck out as easily as well. Well, I mean, Genesis, I think they have a lot of ways to put stuff back as well. Yeah. Well, actually, it probably depends on the builder you're running. Though, we still haven't seen any... So, they still haven't revealed the cards that you're Soul Blasting with yet. Yeah. It's like, there's only Soul Charge things, and how's these things whenever you Soul Blast, so where's the Soul Blast? <laughs> so, I think they still... Oh, wait, no, they already revealed the... Other Stray, which is also a Soul Charge. Oh no, it's Soul Blast, never mind. Wait, what is this? Oh. Well, the uh, rare great for, for or Stride unit for Genesis pre is not that bad. Uh -huh. It's on hit, Soul Blast 3, look at top 3, put one hand, rest in, rest in the soul. So it's basically. Look at the top three. Choose which one you want. Put the rest in the soul, and and soul blast two to activate your skills. Yeah. Now, of course, the real question is what's is what um uh destructing DDB's uh Ben or whatever you say uh, say his name does, which I'm assuming is going to be their persona flip, probably. Which is pro, which is going to be in take them slot render angel feather. So, yeah, yeah. Next idea is actually going to be the, the gr because the way I'm looking at it is that we still have to because the angel feather and the genesis strider are tri uh, triple rares, and then the ultimile and uh. Ash Asha are gonna be triple rares. I'm pretty sure as well, based on the list. Yeah. And I and I just hope I don't need more than one, because otherwise, otherwise my wall's gonna cry. <laughs> or I get or I somehow or we just get like really lucky lucky in full and two, yeah. which good luck with that one. So they aren't like fifty dollar generation rares. Yes, I don't. Like I, 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 can they go back to where where, where Jr is just a glorified or slightly, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> like please, we don't, we don't like spending fifty dollars for cards for for our deck. Yeah, I mean I know some people do, but I don't. Yeah, how it's looking right now? We have all the double rares to confirm, Wait. which pretty much brings oh. us our um. Oh, our... CFA close itself. That's nice. I went to mid. I clicked off screen. And apparently, decided that said nope, can't go off, can't click off. You have to close the game. Huh. Gee, thanks, game. Yeah. Now looking at looking at the double rare list, we essentially have our list of like what uh, what clans come in terms Wait, of support. Th this is awkward. I'm, mm -hmm. I have a clone. Yeah, that happens sometimes when you uh, <laughs> disconnect. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, though I'm surprised that they only gave uh, Gear Chronicles one triple rare. 
or one double rare. Yeah, but you know they've been give. Uh, yeah. Wait, no. Even Royal Paladin had like three doubles in set five. Yeah, I mean, cause basically, cause I mean, what this lo looks like is uh, Gear Chronicles gets no triple rare because they're, cause those are all filled up. They, yeah. they get one GR, they get one double rare, and, let, and then two rares, and then some and commons, however many of those they give. Yeah. Which only have two that we know of. So, depending on how many commons we get, there's probably not going to be much of a change in the deck. Yeah. Outside of uh, Next Age. And, well, and the and of course the two rares that are actually gonna be played. Yeah. Which is more than some plantains, eh? Is that when they get when they get two rares, they don't play, they don't go in the deck. Yeah. Like of course, my, from my machining deck, I probably won't be um, playing the Legion. I don't think the Legion's that good. Uh, it, it's almost a preference thing, as far, as far as I understand. Yeah. I mean, cut me like the like the mates is actually pretty good, but mm -hmm. well, but, but it requires you to be well. Actually, it's not legion specific though, so you can just play in the machining deck. Wait, it's not legion specific? Mm -mm, j just uh, machining specific. Really? Let me see. Yeah, during your turn, if, Van if a Van yeah Vanguard machine in its name, all your opponents pawns Vanguard and regards are rested. This unit gets plus two K and auto. Once per turn, when this hits a Vanguard, choose one of your opponents uh, regards and. St or choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and then choose one of your opponent's rear guards and stun it. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. So I mean, so I mean, the legion mate will probably be used more than the legion itself. Yeah. But I mean, I, I could probably see some people. There probably will be people that probably run for, um, run the legion mate or the legion and um, both the mates. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, they could do both, or they could. Well, there'll probably be that build, but there'll probably also be the one with the uh, machine stag. Yeah. Instead of war sickle. But well, but that's to see, that's to be seen which one's gonna be the better version. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the most main, main thing that the scorpion has is that if when you're out of stride, is that you can just use it to. Oh, it's a oh, it's a burnout or persona blast, pretty much. Uh. I mean, it's not that bad. I because in fact, it does make just giant column or giant vanguard column that your opponent just PGs. Yeah. So I mean, like you could use it early on to force out the PGs. So that way, your stun beetle can hit. Yeah. So I don't know. Just, I have to wait and see how everything rolls out before. Yeah. Judgment calls. Though I will say it's, I do find it funny that Angel Feather's got a card that that they can suicide themselves with. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm at five damage, and and this is the Pegasus that I that I um still have on the board that hasn't died yet. I don't I don't want to lose your Shanga, so I'll just ret call over and l lose myself. <laughs> You'll get satisfaction of winning. Although Maybe. I'm kind of glad that it has um resist. Yeah, like, like one thing like you can do, like if you're doing a lot of strike, you just put it behind the vanguard. Mm. Then, then they can never touch it because they because anything because they would have to target the column, but they can't target the vanguard for the column abilities. <laughs> so you just get a free heal, and, when, and w whenever you decide that you're that you're tired of playing, you just kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because you're swinging with 26 columns anyway, so look, not having a booster isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that's uh, this is gonna be it for the um, stream for today. All right. All right. Uh, thank you. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so so much for being uh, for being on the stream. No problem. Uh, I'll probably stream again tomorrow for a Buddy Fight and maybe Yu Gi Oh. All right. Yeah, I haven't played Buddy Fight since it, since it started, so I don't even know what the heck's going on on that front. <laughs> buddy Fight's gotten a lot of uh, stuff. It, it it's amazing. Yeah, I know that lot of stuff, but I, I remember like after set one, they showed the one turn kill combo, and I was just like, R "Wow, really, guys? Uh -huh. You had you had to showcase how to kill somebody with it, with before they even get to go." Yeah, that's that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's just like a really specific one uh, OTK. So, well, it, it's technically an FTK if you get if you get all the pieces. Yeah, but nowadays it's now it's it's kind of 
or not kind of, but it's really hard to OCK. It, yeah. And can make a, I think probably, well, also I didn't really pick up in this area either, as far as I remember. Yeah. Least was, then again, then again, Force of Will also didn't pick up either. Like people tried it, but then it people was like meh. The, the stick, the stick with Magic Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh. Then again, trying to keep multiple card, the same multiple card game, games with money is kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. Force of Will is kind of growing here. Like it was growing here, then it died. I think it's starting to pick slightly back up, but it's, but I think it's also because they the stir the shipment screw up too. Ah. But except I believe it was set three that there was some kind of ship like big shipment to play, so and so we didn't get anything to like three months or so after it's supposed to be released. Wow. And I think that's one like why it like got what just got shot here oh. or in this area. Was because of that. Hmm. Then, then again, fire flushing also kind of screw up on delivery, but that, but that didn't really hurt the game that much. Yeah. But then again, it is also already well established. Unlike Force Will, that wasn't necessarily fully established yet. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm also waiting for Tachi Kaze, G, G, uh, G Break Tachi Kaze stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm also uh, waiting on that with the. Um... With apparently the booster that's going to have new Batama and Spike Brothers along with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming up, I want because I want because that way Cannon Gear can be played. <laughs> it's like it's like the only Grade Two Eleven K doesn't have have a real drawback on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's it, the only reason it doesn't see play is because it's on Angel Dragon. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, the card would be amazing. <laughs> Definitely. It's like oh, I I ride Eleven K Vanguard. Oh, I don't have to reti I don't have anything to retire. Oh well. Or, or I just like whenever I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably get a cheap break version of the return re, uh, return to the field units yeah. because the deck needs those like badly. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. Because I made an uh, ancient dragon deck that was actually pretty pretty good, but it, it's kind of hard to stand up with the uh, strides since their strides aren't that great. Yeah. I'm yeah. It's me. Even their persona flip, I believe it was. Early Titan. Yeah, I believe it's pretty, yeah. Like it's it's okay, but it's way too rely on your opponent. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it's really all you. See, it's just a retire one of your opponent's dudes and hope you get a critical. Yeah. Because no one's gonna call a grade three normally. Because they're just gonna hold on to him for stride. Yeah. Uh, which also I know it's another big problem with a lot of the Gear Kong players at um. Rachel's, they never call the stride fodder ever when they need to call them. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I always, because no matter what, I almost always call the stride boot the stride fodder because I because I wanted a, a 16k column. <laughs> but apparently, my friends, they never like they just kept trying to stride and it wasn't doing anything because they didn't make any good call. It had no columns to back it up. Uh. Which is probably another fault of the play, of the gear Chrono players that were there that didn't do very well. Yeah. But. Uh, but that's your choice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think probably a lot of people that play Gear Cross were, were just just grab the deck that night and just just because they had new stuff and want and want to see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, I, well actually I didn't actually I had, I had prep time because CFA South was. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, um, although soon, you know, card uh, card fight online is going to be a thing. Yeah, I already have that followed. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. Is yeah. Because it. But since it's gonna be only for uh, G, uh, G, G generation above, it's like, oh hey, I play Gear Colonies, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, new Mega Colony. Yep. As far as like, oh yeah, no the cross, no thinks there, no Sanctuary Guard. <laughs> 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 none of the good, none, a lot of the meta decks outside of the G one decks like Gear Chronicle don't see those anymore because all <laughs> the stuff they need are gone. Although this kind of makes me a bit sad because Tsukiyomi is my main deck. And yeah, no Tsukuyomi until later. And also no machinings. Yeah, outside of the G set four ones. Yeah, but they don't work without all the machinings, which uh, doesn't which unless they get more stuff, which I kind of doubt. Yeah, it's you're better off just playing Dark Face. <laughs> yeah, I think the only uh, piece of Mega Colony that we haven't received yet are triggers and the limit break enabler. Uh, we had we had a critical. 
Yeah, I'm well, seeing Firefly, but I mean like the um, the vanilla well, ones. Yeah, well, I'm assuming that they're gonna have a rare. Wait, oh wait, you already have the rares. Never mind. Mm-hmm. I thought it's probably like a like a common stand trigger that that does something because because like every clan gets that for whatever reason now. Yeah, I was honestly hoping that we'd get a Machining draw because we kind of need that. Well, uh, no, Taylor, we'll actually need both a draw and a crit, as far as I remember. Like, yeah, I think you are missing two turrets, if I remembered. No, we're only missing one. Uh, only before uh, GB4. Yeah, we're missing one. Because uh, um, Machining Scorpion was in uh, set 15. Oh, right. Well, well apparently they want you to play tw- play 12, crit- uh, 12 crits, obviously. Actually, with, actually, with Firefly, you actually that actually is the second uh, machine or critical because there's no other crits. Because I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. So, so really, did just need a machine draw for the full, to have a full machine deck. Yeah. I mean, because Cicada is just bad. Yeah. I mean, me myself, I don't like playing stands in any deck. The only I the only deck I play a stand in is the. The Pastina build. That's because it was a one tech of that for because his ability was actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, come on, plus ten k to whatever. <laughs> you, <can't, laughs> you don't turn away plus ten k to whatever. Yeah. And that's why people played um Atmos. Yeah. Well, or the ones that don't have that already have a full uh stride deck as it is. Yeah. Because Gear Chronicles, we have enough stuff in there. Link Joker is kind of full as well. OTT got, um, it's kind of full, Mega Colony, uh... Yeah, Mega Col- Colony, well, Machining Mega Colony is full. No, the, um, uh, Dark Face Mega Colony, because, you know, you have Paris Spear, Jaggy's Devil. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, you probably just want one Jaggy's Devil and one Atmos, but I think, but, I don't it's gonna be debatable which one's better. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, I think it's probably more of a meta call, whether you do two Jaggy Devils or one Atmos, one Jaggy Devil. Yeah, because like, we expect to like a lot of Aqua Force players, then Jaggy Devil will obviously will probably be better. Yeah. Then again, I think probably coming up or at the regionals, I'm kind of expecting probably like one person played in Sword Boys or a few people in Sword Boys since those come out the day before. I don't get what why people are so you know hyped up about about Token Rambu because that they don't seem that good to me. Apparently, well, they're doing good. Apparently, like they're doing pretty well in Japan, but that doesn't really translate very that much over here. Yeah. So, in fact, we have four laurels. Yeah. <laughs> but even with four laurels, like the like the, the place is still so, strong, but it's not like oppressive, right? Which, uh, ironically enough, then again, everyone knows kill laurel when you see it. Yeah. <laughs> or it may only state case son the vanguard. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I will say that I didn't, I didn't notice that uh, Pastina Rachel was actually pretty diverse for the most part, outside of the obvious repeats that are going to be there. Yeah. Because so, I saw like the old Narcomi play. someone doing old Narcomi, it's all great nature. Uh, OG MLB, which I felt bad playing against that guy with with the with, uh, new Gear Chronicles. Yeah. I was just like, he, he never got to do put the two in the soul because he had to keep Garden with him because of wow. uh, guard, guard restriction. Too good. He could have put zeros in front of Panzer Eel when I got made it a twenty-four column. Wow. With with, with the skill active. <laughs> so there was so he kind of had to do that, and he was at five. So it wasn't real. So he didn't really have much of a choice. Otherwise, he died. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm actually wondering how popular Sanctuary Guard is going to be come uh, regionals, which I'm pretty sure it's probably popular since they're getting more support. Yeah. Um. Well, I don't I, think that they did too well in uh, New York. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, like GB4 is giving them, giving them more stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Royal Paladin's in there. Yeah, and there's stuff that is specifically Sanctuary Guards, too. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, because they got a new grade two that's 11k beater 
when you when you're playing Sanctuary Guard and on call it's combo blast two, call grade one. If you have a Sanctuary Guard, and that's a com that's a common. Don't give oh. don't give Sanctuary Guard anything. It doesn't deserve anything. Oh, and then there's also the new resist unit for Royal Paladins. Really? Yeah, it's uh, GB GB one. If you have if you're uh, if you have um, if the number of uh, of your other rear guard grade one rear guards are or less are two or more, basically you have this plus two other do your back line. It ha it gets plus two K and, and has resist, so it becomes a nine K booster. Wow. So you just put, so you just put three of those down the back line. You have three nine K boosters with resist. <laughs> oh, and then there's also a new starter, which is oh. which is yeah, new starter GB one. If the number of grade other grade one or less is two or more, it becomes a grade two becomes a ten K vanilla with intercept. Hmm. Yeah, it started. It comes great too, pretty much. So I'm pretty sure Sanctuary Guard is going to use that one since it's, it's a grade zero, and it pretty much turns to grade two, but still treated as zero. Yeah. When you when you play your strategy. So I'm pretty sure some people are going to try see if they can make it work, and it may or may not work. It'll just be up to time. Yeah. You know who needs support? All the underscore clans. <laughs> the Galahad train. Uh, damn, that's been. I can't even remember. The <laughs> it's the Royal Paladin ride chain from Shot Three. Oh, oh yeah, the the one the one the guys that never got that got to play like for like what one tournament and that maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and, then got, and then people realized it was bad. <laughs> I actually remember making that deck a long time on the uh, Car Fight Capital. It was just like it wasn't that. You just get, you kind of realize back that the the old ride chains were crap. Yeah. I think the only one who ever just really stuck with Tsukiyomi, and of course, you know, she's being used today. Well, also, um, parts of, uh, uh, Nate, like, grade 0 through 2 on Nakeman, because it allowed you to search for the grade 2 outright, outright when, when you ran, like, 10, like, 12 grade 3s. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, I mean, there was, like, a few, a few that stuck, but for the most part, it was, it wasn't that good. Yeah. I actually have a uh, Galahad deck right now, but it's more like Galahad Alt Nile. And Alt Nile is what you want, is what you rather sit on. Yeah. <laughs> because the 9K Vanguard is crap, <laughs> especially at Grade Three, because it because you just, it's Grade Three, that's Grade Two. It's Grade Three. And, uh, and uh, no, I'm saying it, it's Grade Three. That's, that's pretty much a Grade Two. It just has yeah. Twin Drive. And and we all we all know how hard you get punished for having 9K Vanguard and Vanguard. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's why all, all the old 9Ks never really got played, because you kind of notice the difference between a 9K and a 10K, and then yeah. 10K and 11K. <laughs> Except for maybe, like, Galahad and Match Steel or Blaster, but even then you don't play him. You just use him for his Blaster Blade Searcher. Yep. But even then, I think he got replaced by, like, Starlight Violinist and stuff like that. Yeah, well, now. But, I mean, back then, it... Well, actually, actually back then, what happened is uh, Soul Saver. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Bark the reason Barkle got banned from the band. And we'll never see the light of day like again. Day. I mean, well, actually, no, it's actually it's still, no, it's still can't see a live day because Thanks Saver. I mean, well, um, with Barkle. No, but what I was saying, but like with Thanks Saver, it, it, it allows you to instantly have two two shots at Thanks Saver. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it instantly gets three. Granted, you had to run a stand trigger, but I think being able to do Thanks Saver twice a turn doesn't care. Yeah. Though I actually am kind of disappointed in, in the amount of RP. You can't really make a Royal Paladin deck any, a good Royal Paladin deck, but that's not uh, Jewel Knights or, or Seekers because there's no support, no good support that in those areas right now. Yeah. So I actually tried to look, and I was like, just like for like pure my belt, she's like, why is all the cart? Why is almost all of this crap? <laughs> <laughs> like most of it's like a bunch of outdated crap that doesn't really work today. Yeah. Thing. I guess that kind of applies to, to a, a lot of old stuff now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, in before they get they give Lukier uh, uh, a you know get, get, make another Lukier yeah. and set five because that's like the one car they print so many different copies of that thing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We just really need a reprint of Lukier in some way. Well, Taylor, we need a re reprint of a lot of the cards that are expensive that should not really be expensive. Yeah. I mean, they can usually do it with, like, like um, when the, like, the comic booster stuff or yeah. sets. But it's whether they want to do it or not. 
that's why they kind of should have the um, the trigger campaign promotion here, because you know then you could maybe they can throw in some reprints there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know like there's a lot of locks lines that can't be played right now because the triggers are expensive because of the fact that you can't get them normally. Yeah. So people have to suck it up and and use the not as good not as good version of the triggers because they have to because no one wants to pay ten dollars for a trigger. Yeah. And if they do, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> oh yeah, have you tried um, Hero Heroic Saga, Saga from K Kagero? I actually it's um attempted to see if I can make a deck with him in a uh, Dragonic Blade Master. I actually tried to make a deck with with him and uh, Dauntless. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's gamut. It, it's when you when on paper. It, on paper, it sounds good, but you don't really get it off that often. But again, it's still funny. A break ride uh, heroic over Dauntless, and then tw two times they have to retire not to not to die to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I actually tried making um, Embodiment of Victory Aleph relevant again by using Dauntless. But then, you, but then Overlord, Overlord, or more Overlords. Yep, and more of the fact that Aleph is a counterblast for, <laughs> for and then it's and for a for not for a, a terrible skill. <laughs> yeah, I mean it wasn't terrible at the time, but yeah, well, yeah, but but then again, back in that time, Mister, then again, like Mega Blast were really good too. Yeah, ugh, it's invisible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause, cause I actually remember uh, set one on a cart. Fight Capital when, when the Fight Capital Vanguard started playing it. It was like barely went on, but everyone, but whoever was on, you always had a game with. So, so right, like you, you literally, you just go, you just pretty, all, everyone play, plays the same four clans, and you see see what the what the hell people or see who got who can sack sack harder. Yeah, because <laughs> there wasn't any diversity. He's like, oh hey, he's playing a hero. Let's, let's do this. Or or you do those uh, weird hype. The mixed clan thing, which I remember doing that for Tachikaze and uh, I think it was some Kagero stuff, I think. Because you couldn't play Deathrax. There was no such thing as a pure Tachikaze. Because you couldn't, because they had like four cars, if I remember correctly. Uh, I believe so, because they didn't, they didn't get their um, triggers or anything until set three. Yeah, because they had, they had uh, the Iron Shield Dragon, uh, Blight Tops, Sky Patero and Tyrant Deathrax, that was the four cards they had. Yeah. Oh, they had uh, Dino Chaos as well. Uh, Dino Chaos wasn't until later. It was in set two. Yeah, but I'm talking about set one. Oh, set one. Well, um... Set set one, there was four, there was four touch cards in, the, in it. Well, there was um Sonic and Noah. That... Oh, yeah, also, oh, yeah, that. Because I know Sky Patero that... didn't come till set two. Because I recently opened a uh, Japanese box of set two, and I pulled one. Yeah, yeah. That, that, but also, yeah. I mean, also, Ken and Gear was in set two as well. Oh, um, Iron Dragon, or yeah, Ironclad Dragon Shield on, and the um, the, the Great Zero. Yeah, and the, the Great in the Great Two that searches out for him. Yeah, Black Tops. Yeah. yeah. It's also kind of funny how how Tyrant Deathrax is actually good back then. Yeah. <laughs> like. Swing for fifteen. Swing for fifteen. Swing for fifteen. <laughs> Do I hit? If, if I don't hit, oh well. <laughs> I mean, I don't retire anything. Now you have like Dark Rex. Yeah. Which is not a restander, but might as well w I should be. It pretty much is. I mean, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't like it that much, just because to make it like really effective now. You have to be. You have that spinal driver, which pretty much requires you to retire your tire rear, all five rear guards, make it do something. Yeah. It's just like, ugh. And also, the fact it's not anti dragon also hurts it too. Yeah. Because that means you can't do you can't do your revival shenanigans. Yeah. Though I still want G. Yeah. Though I'm still wait, waiting for them to release anti dragon Geo Gonda because that and that thing's spent. Yeah, Justin is also waiting on that Geo Gonda. Yeah, cause the cause the deck needs it so bad. Oh, definitely. I mean, you don't run more than two, but to, uh, but those two mean so much to that deck. Yeah. It's like 
Bush Road with English promos, like, they're kind of, like, bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that they that they'll put it in with the whenever they put the G Tachikaze stuff in that they'll put that they'll they'll put it in there. Uh, yeah, hopefully I mean, a reprint. Well, that won't really be a reprint since it's never been printed in English. Yeah, I, I mean basically like what they did with Flower Screen. Yeah, where it was a uh, re- which it was the the regional promo if you did a side event. Yeah, and, and then they were like twenty bucks it. each. Yep, and. Yep, and all the people that bought and all the people that didn't buy it, buy it, waiting for the reprint, got lucked out because they reprinted it. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, my like when we, my group went up there, we were supposed to get to do a side event, but we didn't have time to do, to do the side events because the ra- the rounds were so short. Uh. And and then like after we after the went it went to top A, we left because the other because the the other two were were tired, despite one of them slept the entire way. On, on the entire trip, because oh. I, because I, I drove, all, cause I drove down there. They, we left at midnight, and I, dr- I was the one driving down there. That was, that was not tired at all. <laughs> Vanguard and Adren- adrenaline and Powerade makes you not tired, <laughs> tired somehow. <laughs> that's what I was, that's what I was on the, the entire time. But, yeah, but I mean, I was just, I was not tired at all. I was like fully, fully awake, fully playing, and didn't even think about it. Then again, that was also my first regional as well that I went to for Vanguard. Uh, I actually first uh, regional for any card game. And the first regional I went to was the um, 2012 one in Dallas. No. Yeah, I mean I've been in the game for a while, but I haven't actually done any uh, big time because I didn't have money to b- actually get a deck, get a decent deck. Uh. Yeah, that that the the pain the pain of the poor college slash high school students like you like you want to play the game, but in order to play it, be able to do really de- decent or decently, you have to you to get money. Yeah. And also, there's another machine that there as they they have the art for, but they don't know what it does yet. Yeah, uh, yellow jacket. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a common. It's probably like grade two or something. Yeah. I mean, it looks like grade two. It looks like grade... a lemon break enabler. Um, might be. I mean, doesn't. I mean, also doesn't like a great, like a grade two, or grade one. But you, you never, know, you never know. Yeah. Because you got. I think it's kind of funny that you can actually make all. Can all you can kind of tell if it's gonna be grade one or grade two just because of the way it looks half yeah. the time. <laughs> it's like, it, like th- this is this doesn't have enough can't love, uh what, what this doesn't it's not pointy enough so it's obviously not a gr- not a grade three. Yeah. Or in touch Tachikaze case, there's not enough cant on this, so it's obviously not a grade three. <laughs> Which I actually remember building the Raptor Colonel, uh, or when it first came, when, uh, when it was actually playable. Yeah. I built did a Raptor Colonel uh, Brachio build. It was it was hilarious. It, it was hilarious. Cause I did not lose a single match that day, and I got the right ride chain every single time. Really? Yeah, I was just like we were like. <laughs> 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 it's like. Uh, rap, ride skill. Oh, look, I got it. Ride. ride. Also, I had like a couple games where I where it's open the the entire ride chain. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ride, skill, retire, Brachio, swing with that, swing with that call again. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it was, it was, it's not. What I mean, it was decent, but it was just outright funny. Because I didn't want to play Dark Rex. I didn't really like the card at the time. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, even now I don't really like it that much mm. because because it because it doesn't necessarily gain you that much, especially with the fact that 11k uh, Vanguards were still prevalent at the point mm. or, or or starting to show up. So I didn't really like it that much because it was a 10k, <laughs> and the fact that the minus three you didn't really have a way to gain advantage from from doing the minus. Uh. So in fact, that in order to really make up for it, you had to cow boss a like, crap ton mm. to, to cover it. Because, since like everything Haz Honey does requires a cow blast. <laughs> but, yeah. Though I do also kind of hope that the Angel Feather deck can see some play as well at regionals. Yeah. But well, yeah, actually, I kind of want to see like at least some representation of every clan that has G support at regionals. I mean, because they totally could. Because they have, because all the sports pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting. Hell, 
because because even the Morikuma's part hasn't gone down price yet, or at least the G units, because apparently it's doing or it's doing somewhat decent right now, mm. in some in some part. But I don't think it's like topping, but it's doing well. But it's working well enough where it doesn't suck. Yeah. Which, which is a which is some which is nice to say for a severely undersupported clan. Hmm. And the fact that it that the deck didn't really have any win cons until the till, till set three, set four, or set three. Because basically, the the only build that was somewhat funny for Murakumo was the Shuri, 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 Shuri and Madara Lord. But that was just a troll build. It had no way to win, but you just stole your opponent out and bore the fucking bore the hell out of him with it. Yeah, I remember <laughs> uh, my old Murakumo build was actually a uh, Mandala Lord Zambaku. Oh yeah, that, that's the original one for uh, that I built before um, Shur Shuryuki. But get, wait a minute, the Shuryuki Mandalore is just hilarious. She's just like, like, oh, you're attacking. Uh, minus X to your bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like all these great things in my hand are 10k and 12, 20k shields. What you can do about it? <laughs> yeah, and I'm also play or built uh, Zeal after the new support. It was actually kind of funny playing I that was, deck. I was really disappointed in the uh, Zeal Legion. You, you you don't play you don't, the Zeal Legion. You don't worry about the effect. You just you just put Zeal there and Zeal and the, the other Zeal and the OG Zeal kills them. <laughs> and also, uh, oh, uh, Dark Super Man, Man Omega kills them too. You, you just put, have Zeal or near be Zeal because because of the Legion. Uh, have you seen the for the seal deck the uh, grade one rush deck grade ra grade one rush combo it can do? Yeah, with Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm so disappointed that they didn't keep his name as a uh, Darwin. Yeah, because that name was so perfect. Yeah, they call they call it Darwin, I think. Yeah, like Darwin. Some I still I still just call it Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> like. I mean, I have, I have, because uh, when I went to the pre, well, technically a sneak peek, but technically it was Nick Tornadus, gave me, just, here, the latest guy gave the pack, and that was it. <laughs> but, uh, basically, uh, out of those packs, I had three new Sentry, I had three Zeals out of that thing. I was like, wow. Apparently, was like, apparently they, the, the thing's telling me to play Zeal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just like, crack, oh, Zeal, crack, oh, another one, crack, oh, another one. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, really? I was just like, like G game. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> when you give me, when you when you give me almost a tire, give me almost a full playset. <laughs> it's just like, God, like, like, dang, like, dang, like I looks like cause I kind of wanted to build, I wanted to build a uh, sim bus before get, before it got expensive, then it got expensive because it was obviously good. And then I cracked seal. I was like, oh hey, look seal. Maybe that's not expensive. Go, looks like Electric Seal. Why is this thing fifteen dollars? Yeah. <laughs> then again, that thing I think thing and everything like was like hyped at that point too. Yeah. And now it's actually reasonable price at five bucks. <laughs> also, also at that point, that was also very hard to find the, even find the pieces too online, because like they were like sold out of it. Uh -huh. But I mean, for the most part, I have, I have like a good portion of the deck. I just have to get the rest of the right chain, the old, old OG seals, Shrydian, and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm not gonna really worry about it. But also, Bugly, Bugly is is uh, awesome in that deck too. Oh yeah. Sure, it's an 8K, but if you if you go first, you attack at their Vanguard, their Grade One Vanguard. You just call three Buglies. <laughs> You're gonna draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> unless, they, unless they really want to guard all of that. <laughs> it's like, hey, free advantage. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was hilarious. I think I have I put one more person I played with that on here. You literally guard all three. I was like, okay. <laughs> you guard all three. Good job. <laughs> I didn't draw my cards, but you lost all your good points to your hand size. Yeah. But, 
And I'm also hoping the leaders will actually become good. I mean, well, the leaders are good, but they're easily countered. Try. Yeah. <laughs> it, it don't easily, it's not just easy counter. You just play the game and, and they don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, the only thing Delete does is that one turn that you get to try and kill them. Yeah. That's all. That's literally all. That's the only opportunity you get. It doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do because they inter they just happen to enter the stride at right, like right before or a little bit after they they were gonna be decent. It was like, well, well, never mind. <laughs> like, whatever. Guess guess not playing the leaders this time. I mean, it was, it was fun. It was uh, good for Legion format since I still use break rides because you just go, ha 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 ha. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> or especially against Spike Brothers. Because if you delete sp bad end dragon before they do the combo, you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Horribly. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than playing against Spike Brothers and you all of a sudden get crushed rust to death. Yeah. Which, which, whenever they get their limit, their limit in late able, that's gonna be kind of scary. Cause then, cause then they had to wait. Then, cause then you can't can't make them not do it. Cause then it was called. Cause then you have to kill the limit and late able, and to hopefully not get crush rust to death by bad end shenanigans. Yeah. Which I kind of doubt that G Sport will actually replace if they do, or whenever they get the limit able. That we re play these bad and dragger plus break fight over whatever just to kill your and kill your opponent. Because <laughs> bloody because bloody ogre plus bad and dragger equals GG. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember. So I if I remember, I think that they can get a total of like eight to ten attacks, I believe, with with like twenty four call twenty four single attacking units. <laughs> because because of ogre skill and bad and bad and skill. Oh, and also Frozen Ogle. Yeah. So, so you basically just go Break Ride, oh, Break Ride, Bloody, oh, over Bad End, Legion, uh, then uh, use uh, Ogle skill to call, or Bloody, Bloody to call Frozen Ogre if you haven't already called, well, after you call like, everything else in your hand and proceed to attack, so hit them with those too. <laughs> then, use Og o then use Ogle and just go completely ham. Yeah. You should, because unless you damage check, check them, then you should have three frozen og ogres in your in your deck when when you go for the first one. So you get so you get three attacks from Ogle, two from the from the original that you call from the two that you called, and th and then you get an extra one. Then you get so three Ogles plus whatever it calls plus the two that you start with. That's six plus your Vanguard. So that's se that's seven attacks of over twenty k power. Mm. And, and and the last card you, you pull out with the ogle is silver blaze, yeah, which is which is gonna be swinging for twenty for twenty nine, unboosted. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and if your opponent isn't dead by that point, they must hit. They then they either luck luck sack like a motherfucker or they actually had a hand. Yeah, because <laughs> I commend anyone who can live through the crush rush. <laughs> uh, the, the full onslaught of the crush rush, not some half ass crush rush. Yeah. So, cause if I remember, I th if I remember, I think a while back, before Darren Legion format, that the or Darren Legion format, the Spike Bros actually won a couple of tournaments because of that. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a, there's nothing you can do about it. When they do it, you just die. Yeah. Like, cause you PG the the the, the Vanguard, but that doesn't that they don't care, because <laughs> because the rearguard is just gonna defend the job anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a friend that had that. Actually, I think he still has has the deck too. Has this, and playing against that deck is not fun when 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 the combo works. <laughs> Which you just hope he doesn't get the combo. Wait, I, oh yeah, I completely forgot. What the hell does even sword boys do? Wait, who? Uh, uh, I was trying to remember what what the sword the sword or sword boys do. I forgot, I actually forgot what the entire clan is supposed to do. 
Oh, they're based off like essentially Limit Break Three and um, NVP. Oh. Uh, uh, Ray Standard that loses <laughs> that gets that loses two 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 much triple drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like old fashioned overlord. It's like an overlord. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. It's like, hey, look, a throwback to Overlord. The original one. Uh, yeah, it looks like MVP, Batman just used columns and stuff, too, is what it looks like. Yeah. So I'm expecting probably like one to two. Well, actually, it'd probably be like three, like three sword board decks. Maybe. Depend on, depend, depending on, on how people want to go with it. I mean, Kirk, all they have to do is just buy, just buy a, like, a case of, the, of it, and they'll probably know the deck. <laughs> since, it's a, since everything you need is in the box. Granted, it'll probably end up like with Aqua Force, where people scramble, uh, scramble to, to open everything that day because they bought like a cage or something that that the day before and, and traveled up there, up to or down to Pasadena. Mm. Let's see. Also, I like how they give sword, sword boards two of every trigger except the heal trigger. Yeah. But you can't do that for anyone else? <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember, I think, like, up up to... Actually, even now, each, like, each clan, if lucky, gets, like, one of each trigger, if, the, if they're even lucky enough to get that. Yeah. Because like, I remember, I think it was up to set five that they only get, like, half triggers to a lot of clans, so you still can't play them. Because they didn't have the full trigger set. <laughs> so I think uh, Tachikaze was like that. Uh. I, I mean, I, I know it took like four sets before the deck was actually for it was actually a deck to be played. <laughs> yeah, then Nubatama took several took like twelve sets after its initial show to actually become a become a playable clan. <laughs> so uh, previous set. One, I believe, it was set thirteen that they came in because because they because they couldn't or they had to find a way not to break it. <laughs> yeah, Nubatama came in thirteen. Yeah, so it it took twelve set twelve sets later for them to be playable. <laughs> but then again, they had to figure out how to not make the clan broken. Yeah, because the the original mechanic that they had was kind of bonkers. Yeah. Oh, you have more cards than me. Discard cards. Oh, you have less cards than me. Discard card. <laughs> all the dis, all the disadvantage. <laughs> Which I still have a crap ton of the uh, grade one from from that er, from uh, set one as well. That's good. Yeah. Because you because because you got so many of it when you when you open just open packages like oh hey look dreadmaster <laughs> oh hey look another one oh look like five more. And the fact that they weren't really playable because the fact the deck wasn't a because there wasn't a new Atomic deck at the point in time. Yeah. Which I, I, I think now I think there might be worth a little bit, but I don't think so since like I think everyone has a but had a crap ton of them. Yeah. Yep, there's three cents. Then again, it's common even from set one, <laughs> everyone opened this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, 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 of course, of course. The question is, is whether the generation break Numatama stuff to be good or not. So I, I believe right now Numatama is still not good because of like, it doesn't have a consistent way to kill people, and its playstyle is really conditional, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Because I think I, cause I tried making the deck for it, but it didn't work that well. Even even with the strike with the Legion unit. Yeah. Hopefully, um, the G era will fix that because their double rift strides are like really good. And plus, the fact like all their all their boss cards are, are sh sure stealth dragons, which fits the condition of the good one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's like have a heart with sure stealth dragon. Looks at all the boss. Look at all all their boss cards. 
Oh, look, all the good ones are sure stealth dragons. <laughs> I didn't know I, had to, I didn't have to try for that one. And also, the on-hit one's pretty good, too, because it, cause it, it just outright, hey, discard a card, now. <laughs> like, do you want to, you want to minus, yes or no? <laughs> the, the, I'm pretty sure the Persona Flip is probably be a bind effect as well. It's probably like bind one hand, buy one on the field, and do something else. The that kind of, well actually that's kinda of, just what, what the Jareen Rocket kinda of does. <laughs> but I don't know. Also they need a better starter too. Yeah. I think mean, Kuroko is pretty good, but she's gonna die before she even does anything. Yeah. So it's just like now, I think, I think every clan now has some form of retire. Because why not? <laughs> I know Deep Fleas, besides the generic kill, what kill X clans. Uh, Gear Crawl can deal with it. Deep Fleas have retire. No Grapplers have some re have retire units for whatever fucking reason. I think Mega Call is like the only. Like, uh, let's see. Well, who else has has random retire just because? Oh yeah, Angel Feather has retired just because. Yeah, for some reason. Mega Colony actually with uh, Garafa. Oh yeah, but you don't really play Garafa because Garafa's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my miss. Like, 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 like random retire guys just because. Like when it doesn't even make sense in the clan. It's like, <laughs> okay. And also, if I remember, I think also Mur or Nibutama suffered from the Murakumo syndrome of the uh, of the well, actually Murakumo had good, or well, the grade one and two sucked, but uh, for the most part, so I know like Murakumo, like, like if you look pre uh, GB three, all the you you would have be happy running the running the ten k and eight k vanilla because that was like the best cards for that deck. Yeah, in those slots, which was which is kind of sad. It's like, like you you want to play the deck, but the support cards are completely other crap. Yeah. And I actually remember playing or when Markuma first was uh, being spo like spoiled and like have it being released onto Carfight Capital. I actually played like a half and half deck of uh, Markuma and Kagero. I managed to win a game with only grade ones. Wow. Yeah, because I I never got grade two. And I kept getting, tr I kept creating him. It's like, because basically, I had, but basically, what the deck was, if I remember, it was there was eight eight K vanillas in that deck. Four of them were working on four Bahar. <laughs> so my, my entire field was Bahar, was Bahar, and and uh, um, the uh, Markumo eight K. That was my entire field, and I just kept swinging with that <laughs> the entire game and kept creating with the Vanguard. It was, uh, I don't know, I don't know how I, how that managed to win because I. Well, actually, I won because they never guarded. It was like, go ahead, okay, crit. It was the same crit every time too. It was always the Morikumo crit, which was hilarious. Uh -huh. It was like, and he he went all the way great. Well, he went all the way great three, and I was and I kept having a hand as well, so I was able to guard all the all the, whenever I needed to guard because I just kept getting triggers and not great twos and not very many great threes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure the guy was pretty little, we're probably a little salty on that one. Yeah. Then yeah, I, I guess I kind of got salty too. If I was like my my opponent got stuck on grade one and I had the three and I and I she still lost with twin drive. <laughs> but those uh, 16k columns do help. Which I which I was actually surprised he didn't try to kill any of them. Then yeah, I think back then people didn't really focus on rear guards that much unless it was Tom. Uh yeah, because, because I think the like heavy target rear guard didn't really uh, happen until a little bit later on down the line, like with Aqua Force. But I mean, I mean, it, people like occasional attack rear guards, but it wasn't like that as frequent as it is now. Uh -huh. They just focus on attacking the Vanguard because, it, because that was like uh, they thought that was the best thing to do because yeah. that's how you win. The, that's how you win the game. Yeah. And the fact, like every well, that and the fact stuff required hitting Vanguard. Hit Vanguard for certain skills. If you weren't just running ten uh, vanillas, mm. but vanillas were good. <laughs> mm. 
No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, uh, uh, stop the stream.